sorry. No speak IWC. It was a cup night. Just a cup. Oh, here we go. Arm to net, knee to face. Diakis here. What do YouTube? This your boy Diakis. And we, as in me and the Real Wrestling crew, would like to welcome you, yes, I'm not a rapper, to Real Wrestling episode 70 fucking 4. We're almost at 75. God, Golden Flake. Anyway, my name's Diakis. Everybody introduce yourselves in orally fashion or no. The real is no. Rohan. The concept. And Diakis. Well, um, first piece of news our we want to report is um Vader has passed away at age was it 62 63 63 63 yeah so um anybody, right. anybody want to say anything about Vader he's probably one of the greatest big men to ever wrestle yeah it's a shame HBK back in his prick days probably screwed Vader out of ha having more accolades in the WWE Plus, Hogan probably screwed him over some accolades in WCW. I'll never understand how he was able to take a wrench to the face from Kane, but he did. <laughs> Shit, him hitting the damn moonsault back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Then we'll have, you know, at two years, to, I heard six, but I think, going on to say probably is two, I'm not sure yet. But, like, even after that, he still continued to wrestle to some degree. That's insane. So Vader going to go out Vader style. Yeah. It was going to be, it was say it's not, it's not going to be anybody else's time until his time is up. So, yeah. Yep. Inspiration to us all. And WWE had one down job. And did they do it? No. To the Hall of Fame? Yes. One fucking job. They could at least let, that man, let the man be in there while he was still alive. Yeah. Well, there's a rumor he'll post be a headline in 2019, but I'm like, I'm not sure how true that is or not. They won't go never let him headline. No. He ain't one of the big headline guy. I mean, is there anybody else you can really think of for 2019? Um, Rock? He's not in yet? No. Nah. <laughs> he's, oh. he's just a legend in the video games. The Undertaker. <laughs> you got The Undertaker. He ain't retired yet. Unless WWE don't care to retire tonight. I don't know. Uh, Rick Flair went in when he was still not retired. Well, he is a wrestling guy. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike well, the Tiana Ram. You got to put him in. Well. I know when Owen Hart go in, he better lead the clay. I don't care if he is alive. He better alive. lead the decade. <laughs> he built the team dream did say he was a wrestling guy. Yeah, he did. That shit was so damn funny. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. We're going to miss you, man. And let's say news that very few people care about. Big Cat's got his dumb ass um, release. I care about it. Because now I ain't got to feel ass no more. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. I was, okay. was kind of happy to hear about him get released. I was like, oh, my God. Because when, when d brought beat on, I was like, okay, what you do with this guy now? Vince said, I don't need him no more. <laughs> <laughs> like, Big Who? <laughs> <laughs> like, like we gave you two extra, okay, we gave you one extra paycheck and now pay per view paycheck. Now you go. Yeah, released one. Let's see here. They didn't even future with some wellness future endeavors. Though he must have kissed Vince off. <laughs> I real. mean, what the hell? I mean, first of all, I guess <laughs> what Vince part don't matter. Like you in the locker room, you in the locker room, start all types of shit because you're a Trump supporter. And I'm like, at further thinking like that's all. Right. And I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute, most of this locker room millennials now. So I'm like, him running around doing that probably is rubbing a large portion of the locker room the wrong way. Then, and some folks don't understand HBK's quote when he was talking about asking for forgiveness. Big Cass asked for permission first to beat up that midget. They said no. He goes up to Vince. Vince says no. Big Cass dumbass does it anyway. See how Paul said it best, man. Like, just do it and then deal with the consequences later. He asked first. <laughs> he asked first. That's the thing. Which invalidates all of that after that. What was he? If like, Vince told you, no, don't do it. You do it. Because Punk said he used to ask. He used to always get told no. And then he'd see other people do it. He was like, fine, I'll just do it. And then ask later. <laughs> yep. So he came to just beat the hell out of a little midget first. And then dealt with the consequences. He did deal with the consequences. He got tapped out by that midget. 
Oh, hold on, not that nigga. <laughs> on two occasions. <laughs> yep. Two different submissions. I know. I was thinking that whole thing. I was like, oh my gosh, he made a tap twice. I'm like, man, let's see here. Like, it should have definitely opened that. He should have tapped his way out then. Oh, wait, never mind. He did. I'm <laughs> shocked that I'm shocked that Enzo and Cass didn't get tag titles in NXT. Or on the main roster. The main roster. I'm not sure what happened with that one, but the moment he took Enzo away for Cass, it was over. Well, I know what happened with that. The Hardy thing. You, oh, yeah. Uh, I forgot about they, that. They returned, my bad. Yeah, that did draw, probably threw a wrench in that one. But, I mean, they came in red hot. The Hardys returned. I guess that screwed up everything. And for whatever reason, they wanted to split them up. And I'm like, why? Enzo can't wrestle, but, I mean, he sell well. He talks well. Huh? Big Cash does what he just needs to do best. Just finish up Enzo catchphrase and be the greatest, uh-huh, and be the greatest special ever in the tag teams. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's the hottest. That's the greatest ta- hot tag, except for Braun Strowman. The, that's the problem with WWE. Does like they always say, "Oh, Big Cass, I see him great as a single." Why people have to be great as a single? I think that's, part, the, that's why we have no tag division now. <laughs> I was I think part of it because Enzo probably was on the way out before then. I think we'll get the Usos going down like in probably ten years of one of the greatest tag teams of this generation, but there will be no other tag team besides them. Cause they're gonna be enough to split them up. For right now, you're right, but I think I think the Usos are the only team that will stay together. I think every single team they got right now will split up some type of way. Mm. And then, then if you look at most of the Raw tag team, they put together anyway. <laughs> they singles put together anyway, so well back in the day, they most of the team. Well, back in the day, most of those teams were just put together teams. Yeah, New Age Outlaw would have put that together team. I mean, APA, the most well known team, they were just put together. Yep, they were just thrown together, yeah. I don't even know what got them together. Uh, what, just the ministry? Racism. And they it, were just the ministry. They were already the in the ministry. Together. It was the ministry. Okay, blood sacrifice, never mind. <laughs> so, Edge of Christian got split up when the brood just got split up quick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what. Uh, I guess they went hot on Gang Girl because he disappeared fast. No, I think that's where they split him up was to push Gang Girl. But it didn't work. Look what I have. That thing it didn't work. Agent Christian got off as a tag team. Yeah, they thought Gang Girl getting over. Now I look back and like, eh. Mm. And then they replaced Agent Christian with a heart. You thought that was a dumb idea. But still. It but worked out at the end, though. Still. Yeah, because we got them great ladder matches. Enzo Mori and the, the most Real cringiest one. fucking line rising up like a phoenix. <laughs> just stick to a rap accent and just. You know. I'll say this. I'll say this about Enzo though. He he may have sucked as a wrestler, but he at least gets the business. The reason why he would beat why he up here pissed that big cast like a big cast hurt his leg. He was like this man just completely stopped the match. And he was talking about how Triple H on the other guys up here, even took even more severe injuries than that, the at least finished the match. He was like, he basically saying he could, Big Cass could, he took the chair or something from him and hit him with it and got the pin just in the match. Not just, have, just not have the ref stop it or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. Because Tommaso Ciampa wrestled a damn ladder match with a torn ACL. He finished the match and he finished the angle after the match. Come like, I'm like you, I'm like ACLs are poor, but like man, you wrestling, you can really control what you're doing. You're not doing, you're not like on a football field, basketball court where you actually got to do a whole bunch of crazy lateral movements. You can walk on the ACL injury. Even though Carson went through a touchdown for a torn ACL. Then Phil, Phil Rivers could play the whole game with a torn ACL, didn't he? Sure, I don't even remember that. It was I think the year the, if he did. <laughs> if I'm right, I think that was, I think that was the year the Patriots. I think that was, I think that was the year the Patriots were undefeated. I think, I think Phil Rills played that game with a torn AC, with a torn AC or a partially torn one. That's all I remember about that year. That year the Patriots went six, what, uh, 16 and 1? Well, I mean, 18 and 1. Yeah. I'm glad, took that, I'm glad they took that batter down. <laughs> but. Huh. I told the officer last year I went partying the night before. Mellow's money. <laughs> yep, yeah, she, who, who's we, the nice one? Like, she was trying to tell us Mella is money. Like, <laughs> I, I would have swore that all of them. I swore, I thought Enzo and Mella be the only ones left. Nah, I thought out of all of them, 
Big Cash would have like became like a dominant big man. I don't because Vince loved big man, which is why he got his push in the first place. But he was so hot garbage even then. I was like, I ain't think he was gonna be much. But it was shown in NXT when Enzo broke his leg, and all we had was Big Cash and Solo Star. He was hot garbage. <laughs> That's what I was like. That was like. He can't do nothing right. Enzo came back, and then we seen a whole new cast. I was like, that's all he needed with Enzo. That's why I didn't like the heel turn. I was like, you really going to take Enzo away from Cass? This is not going to work. And then, of course, found out Enzo is just as much of a cancer in the locker room as Big Cass was. So, it was, they both screwed themselves. They were meant to each other. <laughs> yeah, non-WWE. Now they beef with each other. <laughs> well, Enzo is. And also, Enzo reminded me G-Unit is still around. <laughs> they well, are. That's enough of yeah. Big Cash. Until okay. We, until we get him tapping out later. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Um. Okay, let's go to um. Take over Chicago two. Uh, let's get some scores. What? I think I think I said in chat. I had it. I think I said a seven. Take over. I give it a nine. I, but see, damn, and uh, you called, you gave it an eight. You said if it, you said out of respect for Shayna, you weren't gonna give it a seven because you didn't want to disrespect him. Okay, so yeah, eight. <laughs> I, I gave it a nine. You know, from what I saw, because I, I I watched like bits and pieces of it, pieces of it. So I gave it a um, let me see here, nine and a quarter. Yeah, nine and a quarter. Wait, I lost my quarter. Never mind, nine. (laughs) (laughs) Hmm. All right. Let's go to the first match. It's the Undisputed Era, uh, Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong versus Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch for the NXT Tag Team Championships. Well, you knew they was in Chicago because... They went wild for the Undisputed Era. Yep, and they booed <laughs> Oni and the other dude until the end of the match. Fuck that! I was cheering good. for the fucking yeah. uh, the the um the other the other two guys. <laughs> Fuck them niggas, shit! I was shocked they got the title shot on this show because WWE they love to like oh wait NXT does this too where whoever the biggest star that's what, that's what they put on takeover. Like the clear match it should be they never go with. It. Just like um, the Shayna Baszler match because that should have clearly been Shayna versus uh, Dakota Kai and they didn't go that direction. They went with the, the more established person with Nikki Cross. Probably to get her out of the way so they can move her up to the main roster. Hopefully. But damn, they came in match. They actually gave the match to Danny Burch and Oni Lorca. I was like, okay, they're going to actually pay off this storyline. That was excellent. The man was it yeah, good. Yeah, it was good. That's why the crowd finally turned on, uh, finally got on Only Lorcan and what's called side. Only Lorcan is the, is the most unappreciated wrestler there is right now. Yes. He has nothing but good matches. I can't even think of a bad Only Lorcan match. Me either. But because he's on NXT and he rarely met on wrestlers now because he's not one of those big indie names, like, nobody noticed him. Well, that's going to become a problem later on, then. Remember his match? Like, I still remember him matching Kalisto on SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Like, how it started off. Only Loki came out like a, like a ball of fire. I was like, oh, he here to make yeah, a name for him. Kalisto even botched one part, and he made it, he made it look good. Only Loki. For now, I have no idea who the hell y'all talking about. Only Loki. That's because you don't watch NXT. That way, go ahead and say and, and you probably missed that episode of SmackDown. Cause, and like I did say, I, he's never on takeovers. <laughs> so I kept... Sometimes I catch the weekly NST, if I know there's going to be a match I want to see. I'm, I'm like that now. I used to watch every week, but now... I don't even going to do that shit anymore. Because last like, one... It's hard to keep up with it now. Last one, I turned around... I see that clip from the... Um, Ricoch- well, I'll say that for later. But Ricochet, Velveteen, Dream, I turned on to see that one, but... So I don't see the clip since it's on the network. You just like, oh, that happened. Yeah, I remember da- seeing Danny Burch when he first got to NXT. I think he was, a, he was just a, a jobber. <laughs> yeah, because he would never really sign the NXT. Just like somebody just you, blue like pants. um, like blue pants or something. Yeah, like blue yeah. pants. I was gonna say um, uh, what's the name? Dana Parazzo. 
Uh, whatever her name is. She has to define now. Smash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But sort of like her. They just somebody that just keep bringing in the ease barely, but they don't sign. I'll drive like a Ferrari. <sighs> <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry. What was that a Lambo? What well, was a goddamn Italian cars? Doesn't really matter. But even the way Danny Burch and uh, On The Record became a team was good. It just started off with a random match on um, on NXT uh, TV. Mm-hmm. And it was amazing. <laughs> and then you kept wondering, oh, these guys be great as a team. It's, it was just like uh, Sheamus and Cesaro. Holla, holla, holla. I mean, it was exactly <laughs> like Sheamus and Cesaro. <laughs> Damn it. That's all I hear. We, that's what, basically what you just described. Teddy Long without Teddy Long. Nah, Teddy Long, you need a segment. You need the Undertaker to come out first. <laughs> and then you need the, the next person to come out and interrupt the Undertaker. <laughs> and then you need the Undertaker friend to interrupt the person who interrupted the Undertaker. <laughs> I'm and then you, you need want. another guy to back up him. And then you need Ted alone. Okay, that works for the ball. <laughs> that definitely works for the ball. And then every night he'll switch up. You know what? You go one-on-one with the Undertaker. Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Damn. That's like a death sentence, <laughs> Man, you gonna start paying me more for this shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do all your dirty work. <laughs> hey, listen, pay homage to them back in the day. <laughs> Maybe I'm take was Tay Long, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could say more about this match itself, but I don't know. Uh, that match was ridiculous. I like, yeah, that, like that one spot where they, I think it was the finisher or whatever. The fucking had it. Uh, I forgot. Danny Burch had put um, one of the guys on the damn shoulders, and fucking damn Ori Logan came back up with that damn swinging uppercut. And yeah. like, God <laughs> damn, that nigga flipped the shit like, oh I shit, didn't, that nigga dead. I didn't even know that was their finisher. <laughs> I didn't know they were finisher either, man. Shit. Well, see, I was. like when they tried it early in the match. And they Cat Riley pushed him off top rope on the looking to the front flip and landed on the damn apron. I was like, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling that man underappreciated man. Yeah, agreed. And I don't think he ever gonna be called up. It might just be a hot hand for NXT. That's cool. And then I do like when they had did the dual submission thing. Yeah, the cross mm-hmm. face and yeah. the uh, single leg boxing club. And, yeah. And Kyle O'Reilly broke it up while he was in the submission by the kick and lurk in the face. <laughs> Didn't Jericho invent that? Probably. What, what did Jericho invent? <laughs> um. No, he invented that too. Oh shit. Pixelated did. <laughs> mm, I think he invented that as well. <laughs> Go back to Japan. Well, I mean, those are hot match to start the show off for Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. really good. Uh, next match was pretty hot too. Uh, no homo. Um, Ricochet versus Double Team Dream. Oh, yeah, so there he is. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and this something that I got pointed out to be belated that <laughs> them team dream were wearing Prince Puma pants. <laughs> I did oh not know God. that at all. Somebody <laughs> had to point it out to me. I'm like, you right. I was just looking like, oh, he coming out there, Hogan. That's all I was thinking about. <laughs> and he Hogan. Then I looked at his pants. I'm like, wait a minute. That ain't Prince Puma pants. <laughs> So I guess you say anything you can do, I can do better. Even wear your pants. And then he just look like Hogan, though. I mean, that that was the story of the match, though. It's like anything you can do, I can do. Yeah, better. whatever. That and that's sh- what they. That's the story they told what, throughout the yeah, match. And whatever that shit he did to the, that fine ass ring announcer they got. <laughs> I don't know who that chick is. I don't know either. I wanna know. <laughs> well, that's what Wikipedia is for. But yep. Uh, yeah, I want to get to funny. know you. <laughs> Man, the build-up was great for this feud, but I figured Velveteen Dream will lose the moment. They should, the mom watched that uh, NXT, and that, that nigga up here flipped out the ring. The walk up the entrance right to Velveteen Dream, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you lost. No, he, was, he, was, he lost when the match was made. <laughs> I could have told, told you he was losing. Hey, I got a question. I was hoping he was going to win. In fact, that's what I said in the predictions. I got a question. This is completely mm-hmm. off. Uh, yeah, what? Well, what are our predictions? I keep forgetting them. Okay. Uh, but before we get to predictions, damn it. Where the hell is Mar Ronaldo? He had, oh, um, yeah. he had, he had um, different... Um, Boxing match on Showtime. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Yeah. 
He, I didn't know. He'll, he'll be back in two weeks, according to what the Duke said on, Sunday, on Saturday. He'll we got Nick Joseph. <laughs> He's not that bad. He's not that bad. I don't watch 205 Live, though. He's better than that Percy Watson guy. I mean, if 205 Live was just cruiserweight being cruiserweight that way. Shit, better than fucking Byron Saxon. I mean, 205 Live is way better than isn't it? Man, ever since the... Which uh, on shot, which on shot Neville's not back there Ever yet. since that Shane McMahon BS stopped, Byron's become more tolerable. Lies. So <laughs> lying. Yeah. Why, why are you lying to yourself, no, no, bro? He tells you the coach is a complete dumbass. Oh, I hate coach. <laughs> Man, I hate coach. Oh fuck it! What was that? Fuck it! I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say about Coach when we get to the when we get to money. Yeah, money in the bank. He said something so stupid, yeah. and then Corey Graves just went off on his yep. ass. That shit was so goddamn oh my, funny. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for the un- oh, I'll go back for an undisputed error versus Danny Birch, but Danny Birch and uh, or- only Lorcan. Everybody had went with the error. I went with um. <laughs> Birch and Loker. Damn oh, it. I thought we were unanimous with the men of honor. No, fuck that shit. I want, I want, I wanted the, the underdog team to win. Yeah, I think I went a clean sweep this pay per view, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Well, yeah, because you got your wish for the uh, underdog winning. Read Just not a takeover. <sighs> anyway, um, <laughs> let's go back to the Ricochet versus the team dream match. Uh, y'all want to know the predictions? Mm-hmm. Um, Joseph. Oh shit. T R X D. You went with Velveteen Dream. Of course. And then everybody else went with Ricochet. Yeah, because I told I told you during the, the predictions video I said Velveteen Dream is put there just to put Ricochet over. My exact I, words. I'm scared they giving him the Tyler Breeze treatment. Tyler Breeze job at NFT was to put over the, the high indie guy, which is worrying me. Yeah, and no, I'm saying sure. I'm worried about the same thing because I'm like, Tyler Breeze can't be credible if he loses every match. I think the same thing about Jericho. And Jericho talking about, what you mean I always lose? I'm like, Jericho, you always lose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Except for Nacho. It doesn't matter. He gives the gift to Jericho. And he got the, invo- he got the endorsement from uh, John Cena. That means, that means it's over already. <laughs> <laughs> John Cena apparently wants to fight him on NXT. Well, let's have that match. Somebody make it. Triple H up here seen a hint at it. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, I'd, I'd love to see it. Hell, have them bring that damn Intercontinental Championship on there. The early, oh, you mean the actual main title thing? The early, <laughs> the early days of NXT, we used to always see stuff like that. I'm going to see him punk wrestle. Who did he wrestle? He wrestled somebody on NXT. Shoot. No, him and Seth Rollins teamed up to face somebody. Yeah. And CM Punk was the WWE champion at the time. We had um, Titus O'Neil down there as a final boss or something. <laughs> and Sammy, that, That's yeah. the best he ever looked his yeah. entire career yes. with that match against Sammy Zane. <laughs> Killed Sammy Zane. And the thing about it, that was a bad match. <laughs> 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 it's just the best he ever looked. <laughs> it's horrible. Apollo Crews need to go bad. Man, I mean, just really the entire did. worldwide back in NFC. The entire thing. Yeah. And, and Nerf <laughs> Dana. <laughs> They need the whole, yeah, they need all three of them to go back there. All three of them need to be in NXT. Agreed. Especially mm-hmm. Damon. How you oh, not yeah. improve at all? <laughs> to the point they don't even want to put you in the I ring. I think no she more. ain't even had the chance to improve. That's my point. They don't even want to put her in the ring no more. They scared shit hurt someone. She's not much of a crowbar. <laughs> I even be like the I even be like the IWC on Nia Jax, but I'm like, I'm like, come on now. There's like they up here, I like Dana can't like she gonna injure everybody. I'm like, Naya be a little too free with some of her moves. Exactly. Naya's gonna injure somebody. That's that's the way I want it. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, considering her record's cleaning itself, Rollins, I think she's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he he actually keeps noses clean, or well, clean off that is. Oh, Ricochet stole his elbow drop to the purple ring. That right shit was so fucking funny. <laughs> he's got hype on that nigga. He stole his um, cartwheel. Yeah, car, yeah. yeah. cartwheel drop that driver too. <laughs> Velveteen Dream the elbow drop still look better though. Bro, he saw the the height he got, like the like the distance he flew for that yeah. last elbow drop, <laughs> and he like, whiffed. Which one are you talking about? <laughs> the last one Velveteen Dream oh, did. That led to his downfall. Yeah, all he had to do. With this move, nah. Anything you can do, I can do better. Prove that, prove to be wrong. Hey, the elbow drop is fine though. But yes. I was hoping uh, Velveteen Dream would beat him, and then 
we get a rematch with Alistair Black, but it's time for the championship. That would have been great. Denied on that. But hit. we're gonna get Ricochet versus Alistair Black soon. That'd be good. Mm -hmm. No, you're not. And you already should know what I'm talking about. That qu that question probably gonna be that question got answered on later in the show. Who who wants Alistair Black next? Uh. Now. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh. Uh. But he ain't finished with that one dude yet, though, so. Hmm? He ain't finished with that other dude yet, as we'll find out later on. Okay. He's talking like it. <laughs> what is the next match? Okay, next match is, um, who hates this match? I think everybody hates this match. <laughs> Shannon Baszler versus Nikki Cross for the NXT Women's Championship. Yeah. Like, the internet fans hated it. I hated this match because of Nikki Cross. I have never been a fan of Nikki Cross. It's like, if she could wrestle, like, if she actually had moves and stuff that she actually do, her finisher weak, she don't really do nothing in the ring, she just act crazy. She acts like a, a Dean Ambrose was supposed to act. <laughs> like, her character's not even appealing to me, like, because you don't do anything. You've been saying anything I'm saying about Shayna Baszler except for Shayna Baszler just strike and wrestle. <laughs> hmm. Ah, so it's really, so, but it's a, it's a, it's like it's a technique to what she do. She ah, works on a body part. So Shayna Baszler's on the Jinder Mahal program. Okay, I'll say Randy Orton. I'm not. I think I think Shayna Baszler has way more moves than fucking Jinder Mahal. No, <laughs> a wrist <laughs> hold to just do a wrist hold is something, but to like play around with somebody wrist or somebody ankle, that's weighing them down where they can't move. Manipulating a joint. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, um, do, I'm that like means you don't like Pete Dunn. That's his whole move set. Hey, Pete Dunn's interesting. <laughs> then, that he is. And then I'm that, like, that, that, I, character wise, Shannon Baszler is born as hell. I agree with that. Yeah. And then I'm like, and then I can't, then I can't shake the fact that like a lot of her pushes just because she friends with Ronda Rousey, which uh, that's part of it. Which in comparison, Ronda Rousey seems to be a lot more, maybe because she wants to be there that bad. Until she, she gets. Some she sperm. doesn't seem to have the ego trip like some other folks do. Well, yeah, she wants to be there that bad until uh, that that one night. Mm hmm. Yeah, that one night that uh, they get they get it on, you know, get a little wine in their system, <laughs> and, you know, it was in this, you know, Ronda got a bun and nothing. No, no. <laughs> oh, that. I told you, arm bar, <laughs> arm bar. You right, not too fat. Was, bar. That was your arm. Never mind, never mind. That would be also a yes. What were our Okay, for this match, um, uh, did anybody pick Nikki Cross? Nope. <laughs> Shit, I pick her. Um, nah. Everybody, everybody picked Shayna. All right, I think I went undefeated here. Uh, let me see. Uh, yes. You probably did. Actually, yeah, you did. Yep, I just I thought I'm lying. Do it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you you actually did go undefeated. No. Yeah, you had a perfect record. Three for three right now. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I pick. Mm. Yeah, I did pick Velveteen Dreams. Because y'all kept picking with your head, not your heart. I picked with my heart. No, Shit. I picked with my heart. If I pick with my damn heart, you know what I mean? Uh, which one I'd rather be? I have a crazy female or one that can possibly choke me out? See, I forgot who I picked in the main event, but I, I think know. I know who I picked. And oh, me. I, and me and you with, picked the same. Me and you made the same pick. So if I pick who I think I picked, that means I definitely go with my heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, next match is Alistair Black versus Lars Sullivan for the NXT Championship. Now, I don't hardly even remember any of this match because I kept dozing enough. Oh, I, I remember a, a very important part of this match. I didn't even aren't see we, that part. Aren't we unanimous in this match? I, 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 yes. <coughs> I seen the second one. <coughs> when he kicked his head off and pinned him. Yep. I, I, missed, saw... I missed the botch. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I mean, he missed it too. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> He missed the shit. I mean, he slapped the hell out of his thigh. It made it made it sound. Good. He missed it by that much. Damn. And and no. Laura sold it perfectly. Yeah. Like he got killed. <laughs> no, but and I was like, hey, hey, hey. And that was Jinder Mahal, boy. I like the crowd would have lost their damn minds on that much. Well, I mean, the crowd was like, <gasps> no, the crowd's chance that you fucked up after it too. So mm -hmm. they yeah, when I seen that Laura Sullivan was on his knee, and I heard the announcer try to play it like. He just, he took the kick. He was about to win, just, not the He no sold, not not no sold it, but you know. Like, I just heard him say, how is he stealing his seat from the black man? And I was like, 
I don't, I did see him miss it, so I didn't know. I thought he hit it. I heard the smack. That was kind of, you know, like when you be dozing off, yeah. you hit something, you just wake up. So I heard the smack. I just didn't see nothing. Oops. I seen the second one that laid him out. I said, I don't remember nothing for this match. No, he had one. He had he had missed the first. He had went for it earlier in the match. Like, yeah, in like three, two or three more minutes, or two or three minutes earlier than that, I think, than that, than the part you're talking about. Yeah, Lars he completely caught, missed. Lars caught the and, first one. And he completely missed fucking, and then. No, I yeah. seen that. I seen when Lars caught it. Oh. That was, that was one of the stories leading into the, um, into the match. Because apparently he's been catching on NXT too, but I ain't seen none of that. I just seen him put uh, him through a table one time. That was funny. <laughs> I'm sure so many people up here was um, surprised that Laura Sullivan lost, though. There are people who are going for Lars Sullivan? A lot more than I thought. <laughs> okay. Maybe I think they thought Lars was going to beat Aleister Black and he was going to come to the main roster. That's the only time they want these guys to lose. <laughs> they called up. Do they really want Aleister Black to get caught up now? Because they know he's going to Raw. And Raw is in a bad place. Oh, he might go to SmackDown. Nah, I have to highly doubt that. I don't want none of these guys called up anymore without a plan. Because that, what that superstar shakeup that they did, they called up six acts. And the only person being used is, um, who, Drew McIntyre, ain't it? Well, I mean, they called up. I mean, they called us Sandy. They, like they called him up, but he just didn't debut him yet. Yeah, until Tuesday. Until Tuesday. And was like, why? They're like, why they called him up? They want to use him. Like, well, they haven't debuted yet. Well, they said they got a lot of um, they had a lot of plans that fell through. So these guys were just waiting. Did you hear it from a source, or sources tell me, or <laughs> it's like like uh, face is it. gonna happen? Like <laughs> ALP, I would. Yeah, they called him up. I wouldn't even debut him when I debuted. I would have had no way. Yeah, they said it was a visa issue with them, so. Uh-huh. Oh, Working fees. Oh. And yeah. I also heard the only reason they got called up because they planned on doing the tag team money in the bank. Which they yeah. obviously scrapped. Yeah, they I scrapped agree. So, Mango Mussolini screwing up the Octopus of Pain? <laughs> yeah. Send them back to the next season. <laughs> they still stay in Florida. I agree. And then for most of the time. I, I don't really want another brand split, but I'm starting to think we need a third strong brand on the main roster. Back. 205 line. Could, no, no, 205 <laughs> line. Because these rosters get too, like, they get too deep. Yeah, that's why SmackDown need an extra 15. In this case, I blame Triple H because he's, he's just sniping the indies and all these guys keep getting just churned up. I'm like, they're not sending NXT long like they used to. They used to send an NXT like three, four years. Thursday night thrash. <laughs> <laughs> you might work out at this point. I'm like, at this point, like, it's, they come, they have been slapping these guys for the Indies. They don't need to stay in NST long, and they get called up. Bring back ECW. <laughs> and then, like, see, then you got guys like, then you got older guys like Nakamura, and then like, like I'd rather get paid more and be and do stuff and just do a lighter load in the WWE than to to get paid less in Japan. Now they're gonna call it IWC Internet Internet <laughs> Wrestling Championship. <laughs> Was there any other than that box? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> was there anything well, that memorable well, from that match? Well, that championship was changed hands every week. I don't know, <laughs> man. I was like, I was like watching the damn video package when fucking Laura Silva picked up Alistair Black like it was a rag dog, kept on giving the freak accident. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn it. That is a hell of a fun Uranaki, whatever that is. A Uranaki power slam or some shit? That shit's amazing. You know when he comes to the main roster, he's getting a huge push. Because just because of that move. Yeah. The theme song ain't too bad either. Yeah, it's I'm generic, sure. but it's, it's not that bad. You talking Alistair or Lars? And then he was just Lars. And one reason I I just like it just came to me because he was um he was a DLC on um WWE 2K18. So hmm. and he was a weird DLC because there were so many people that probably should have been DLC before him. Yeah. They chose him. I was like, okay, when he get called, he get a push. I can already tell. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 Let's go to the main event. Predictions. Do, do the predictions first. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, I'll announce the match though. 
We have Tommaso Ciampa versus Johnny Gargano. All right. In a... In a Chicago street fight. Yeah. Okay. Um, Diakis and the concept went with Ciampa. Gargano was chosen by Goham and the rear X-Dog. See? I went with my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Your rebel heart? I don't know why I went with Gargano. Well, in my heart, I knew that Ciampa was going to win. Why the hell did I pick Gargano? You think you were on drugs. I picked up Gargano. So I'm thinking like, were you seeing the same re- dealer as Roman? <laughs> I mean, if you still have some Adderall, I, I would I love some. I picked right up in this match though. Nope. Maybe I, don't I just wanted Gargano to beat this man again. I didn't want to pick him because like, I didn't think like I don't. I ain't the huge. I ain't the um uh, Chopper gonna get his win back. I, I have a feeling. This, I thought they were. I thought they were gonna kill a few there. So maybe that's probably why I picked Gargano. I think it's gonna end at uh. Brooklyn 3? Yeah. Brooklyn, Brooklyn 4, my bad. Yeah. Brooklyn 4. They'll be in Brooklyn this year and the next year they move. So it's, I guess it's going to come to a head at Brooklyn 4. That's why they're... What the hell can you do a to th- top a, this goddamn a match? A two out of three stages of hell match. I mean, a three stages of hell Three match. stages of hell match I would love to see, actually. I would love to see that, too. That's the only That's the only other option because you <laughs> cage match wouldn't work because they can had get, two matches that's better than a cage match. Can you have a real street fight as in Falls Count anywhere? And they actually fight everywhere. And no Drek as a referee. And they already did the street yeah. fight. Two out of three falls isn't intense enough, so it's got that's the only other option. Helen and they're not doing Helen the sale. Hey, listen let's, let's bring up an inferno match. Uh no. <laughs> so the only thing they have left is two out the only thing they have left that they can do down there is a uh, three stages of hell match. You since since they're in the bringing bring hey, back old match types. I can say, I'd rather see a legit, well, they already did a street fight, so I know they're going to do it. I'd rather see a legit street fight as in back in the day, like Gold Dust um, versus Roddy Piper, where they really had a real fucking street fight. Honestly, I want to see Hell in the Cell. In NXT? Yes, in NXT. It ain't hard. You can do it. I, I mean, I thought the arena set up, isn't it? It's in the same arena. They gonna be in the Barclays Center. Yeah, they're gonna be in the Barclays Center. Okay, that's what I was saying. Oh, I think with the ceiling fit in there. Yeah, it would fit. Yeah, but NXT's all about not doing what the main roster does exactly to a T. The main roster hasn't had two, uh, a three stages of hell match since uh, man, mm-hmm. when was that? It was a long time ago. So yeah, NXT <laughs> needs to bring it back old, old ass <laughs> match style. That is true. Like but they then, did the War Games. But then we did get the first ever um. Like cage match in NXT and then the first ever ladder match. They might want to do the first ever Hill in the Cell match. Man, I think that that last three. Oh, seconds. I know what they should do a leap of lockdown match. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think the last three stages of Hill match happened on Raw. And it's they like, did. Full Metal Mayhem. Those like, are your only two options, though. It gotta either be Hill in the Cell or three stages of Hell. Like, I'd rather see three stages of Hell only because we haven't had that match in forever. Oh, I got one. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. His name. If they're going to do a Hell in a Cell match, it had better be better than Kevin Owens and um, uh, Shane McMahon. Because. Well, you didn't like the Guardian Angel? I was about to say. Huh? I was about to say, that one wasn't that great to me. You didn't like Kevin Owens' Guardian Angel? <laughs> Shane did it. I, I hated the match. First of all, if any match Shane McMahon competitive in, I hate. <laughs> because it makes no fucking sense. It does in story. AJ Styles, the best wrestler in the world. Like the, I said. Well, the best wrestler in WWE. And world. he might be the world. But Okada will say something to you. <laughs> yeah. I wish you had a championship Okada. to back that up. <laughs> well, Omega will say something as well. And okay, they are much better. Now. Much better. But, but, <laughs> I get but that. But Omega on, on words to that Okada is better than him. But I, but I get so, that. But, you know, in story, it doesn't even matter. You're right. The point is, Shane McMahon gave AJ Styles a competitive match. Drugs. That don't even make sense. I like I say, it makes sense in story. So, it ain't make sense it, in story. At the end, huh? It ain't make sense in story. Yes, he, it does. He I'm, went in there and wrestled a competitive match with AJ Styles. I'm glad that's story. Now, if he would have went in this straight street fight, sure. Hey, I mean, like, this McMahon fighting Stone Cold them doesn't make any sense either, but it works. But that's yeah, what this McMahon did. Took an ass whip of the entire match. <laughs> That shit did kind of make sense. He was anti-establishment. And Terrorism. Vince was the uh, establishment. 
Yeah, but they always they always talk about Shane McMahon being scrappy since he was back then. And Cluster also includes Shane McMahon jumping off the stuff. But, but I'm like it, it didn't make sense back then either. Shane I mean, got his ass kicked more back then. But the thing is, like for for them like the last one that's gonna be a lot of fan memory is Shane McMahon versus Kevin Owens where that match was probably the best match on that card that night. It was. And it had no damn right being the oh, best Oh, no, match. it wasn't. The Usos versus the New Day was easily the best match that Bruh. night. I mean, when it was on top of that cell, going at it, I like, that was one of the first times the match where I legit was thinking somebody was going to go through that cage. I mean, when, when they I had... got all about that match. When they had, Xavier, that pin, when they had Xavier pinned to the corner and they beat him with the pinnacles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't say that match wasn't good, but I'm like, that held the cell match, especially when they got to the top of the cell. And then now since as you stole that match so perfect, like dog, I'll be like, man, somebody's gonna get hurt for real. And they do all that slam on top of the case. I'm like, Gargano and Chopper, they got in recent memory, they gotta at least top that one. First of all, they can do it easily. But doing it easily means somebody somebody's taking that leap of faith. And that, and that's if it's a hell to sell, I'm picking Chopper to win. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> He is the thickest most individual in wrestling. I yeah, this seen. match is damn retarded. What you got feeling? What you got? No, nah, I don't think WWE going. I don't think WWE going to book a spot like that. I, there is no way to fuck. Gargano, <laughs> Ch- I mean, Gargano and Chomp, one dude going to shove the other off top of the cell. So I know that ain't going to happen. I, I love Tommaso Chomp. He old school. He's the old school heel. We, he we, don't have the cool music. He come out there to the crowd booing him. <laughs> he know exactly what to do to get heel heat. He I'm, has some supporters. He, he don't does. let WWE make a cool T-shirt for him. <laughs> like he knows how to. He knows how to do it. That shit ain't gonna work on the main roster. I tell you, he's gonna go when he come up there. He's going face with that. No, nah, he's gonna be on two or five that. Well, he has a bad chance of staying heel then as a heel. I'm surprised, if it wasn't Gargano, I'm surprised he wasn't getting treated as a face. Man. But then he ain't going against Gargano. Gargano. I'll tell you this. Let me say this real quick. If Gargano and uh, Chompa get called up to 205 Live, that show would get hella ratings. I mean, his ratings are already going up now. They bring back Brain Deal and nah. they convince King Neville to come back? No, nah, this is what I'm saying because uh, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to use that feud to boost the rating. Yep. And they're going to keep pushing it and pushing it and then they're going to draw eyes to it. And then they and were, if you were watching NXT, you just gonna switch over to two hundred five live. And then they convince somehow convince Neville to come back that he ain't got to worry about Enzo. Man, that Gar- on his way to Florida. Gargano, he had that camera. <laughs> Gargano, well, maybe Neville can't get back in. That nigga snapped towards the end, dog. Oh like, my God. He, when they just take him out of the stretcher. He, but man, he spit on his wedding ring and tossed it, or <laughs> <laughs> his wedding band, that's to say. That was That's my favorite fight of the whole match. Not the spin of the wedding ring. is when Gargano did the uh, M- what it, M- Refusion. Yeah. When he did that through them tables. That's the exact same thing that happened to year, him a year earlier. Yep. <laughs> so I like, it's a great callback because he did it in the exact same spot in the exact same building that happened to him a year earlier. But then how did they let that fan walk in with a stop sign in his in his, uh, in his uh, uh, signs? That Come on, funny. man. It's Chicago. Chopper just trying to rip that sign. He can't rip it. <laughs> it's Chicago. I'm not going to ask questions. But that image of Gargano just sitting there, just, just messing with his fingers. Like, his wedding, his wedding band is just gone. He was like, fuck that shit. <laughs> and he ran out. He just started beating his ass. And then he just heard Chopper uh, screaming and pleading with him. Yeah, he was like, no, stop. He stop. <laughs> And then the two spots that really pissed me off in this match. The first one, when he had him in a uh, Gargano skate, he clearly tapping out. And then they just come and just pull him off. So I'm like, okay, this match over. Like, well, the referee didn't see it. The referee should have been there. What was he doing? That was, <laughs> exactly. That, that was Why, thing. What was the referee doing the whole time? Why the timekeeper didn't ring the bell? It, a lot of stuff. I, like, think, I think the referee was uh, preoccupied outside. The timekeeper the wasn't. And then they pulled him off. He go back in there, put the handcuffs on him, kick the shit out on him like six or seven times in the face. <laughs> yeah, he unprotected. He, he threw his up uh, his own super kick party. Then Media put him style. back. Then mm-hmm. put him back in the Gargano escape, and then he taps out again. Ooh, and once again, where the fuck you ref at? 
So I'm not thinking nothing of it. I'm like, okay, they've been through out this match. Yeah, get the water piece. Then he walked through the, and I'm like, oh, Gargano for the beat his ass up again. Then he just happened to oh. get in the ring. Views from the you show. Are, what man. happened to the ref? You got to blame Gargano for that. He ain't had no business punching agents and, and, and referees trying to break up the fight. They was trying to get him off of Chandler. No, fuck okay, he, now he, I he, know where the referee was. Yeah, he, he was he, looking after the other ref. He wasn't not that. I remember that much. Nothing he was looking at the ref who got beat up. He yeah, was, that's not that's not his fault. Yeah. That's six. not his fault. That's Gargano. He should, he ought to have held his emotions in check. Fuck that shit. <laughs> the nigga threw my damn ring away. I'm beating the nigga's ass. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who's getting the way. I don't care if it's aunties, uncles. I'm throwing the whole damn crowd off. <laughs> I mean, they, they did this match so perfect because when when Chopper <laughs> tore apart the ring and they never used it, you just. You never, you are like, at one moment, you like, okay, you know they're going to come back to it sooner or yeah. later. They did that whole beat that anger so good that you just forgot about it. Like, you think, because I'm thinking the match over. I'm like, that thing ain't even going to come into play no more. They don't threw out the match. I was thinking the whole time, I wanted to see somebody get dropped on the wood. <laughs> then when he came through the rope, and then when Chuck caught on, I was like, oh, shit, right on the wood. <laughs> like, damn, I did I, like, I was waiting for the spot and still didn't see it coming. It's also Gargano's mm-hmm. fault that he gave him Handcuffs that were meant for somebody that's six eight. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he gonna slip through them when the, when the uh, the amount of chain is that wide. So he just slipped his legs through and boom. No, he's free. Boy, they wouldn't even do no red hair with the uh, exposed ring. Wait, th- th- this match this match was amazing. Yeah, oh, yeah, excellently. And done. Johnny Gargano will be my vote for superstar of the year. And he has three, no problem with three five-star matches in a row, dog. Like, he got three crazy. of them. <laughs> <laughs> also, Chapa hands down has to be heel of the year. Yeah. Oh, yeah a close second is like Nakamura. Nakamura would be a close second, but the I'm thing about Nakamura. It, man, he ain't got shit on Chapa. He, he can't even get the He's job, even man. a heel on Twitter. <laughs> oh, my God damn. Bro, he is such a prick. Yeah, he's a yeah, but fucking he didn't, asshole. But he hadn't went and visited Dean Ambrose's residence, though. So, I mean... Dean Ambrose, lucky he's injured. <laughs> he may lose his balls at the same time. <laughs> Shinsuke lost his, apparently. And then the thing about he, like a he, he ain't done. He's going to have another match with Chompa that's probably going to be five stars. He might get that title match against Aleister Black. That's going to be five stars. And that's what I said earlier about. That's why I know he's going to be superstar of the year. Hey, well, that's, that's what. Are we can't Wait, are we only counting WWE for this? Yes. We oh. always only count WWE. Okay, I see. Like, Superstar, yeah, like, man, do, do we send the cleaner over here? Look who won every year. It's like, what, AJ Styles won, what, two years in a row? Like, it's only been WWE. Well, before uh, WWE Superstar should have won Superstar of the Year or even had Match of the Year. Well, I know I Match of the Year, but I was but like, we so. always do just WWE. But I was like, but, I mean, come on. So, last that. year, um, I think the Elite actually won Faction of the Year. I mean, come on. We, we had know. no faction. Yeah, there I no mean, factions. you know, we're not going to count Okada because up to now he always won. Kenny Omega was a non WWE superstar of the year for, for us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we oh, yeah, we did do that. Yeah. It was in the beginning, so it was like any. I, I asked oh, anybody yeah. want to have any, have any um, non WWE shit they want to say. And you said, you said, you said, hands down, Kenny, Kenny Omega is superstar of the, of the year outside WWE. Oh, yeah. But even even this year I wouldn't give well this year ain't over yet. Yeah. But still got this year I still I wouldn't even give it to Kenny Omega because Okada even half a year had a better year than him. Still lost. Yeah, he lost to Kenny Omega. But look who he's beating. I want to get superstar of the year to that, to that year. ring bell. Like but who's he beat? Used. But who's he beat Nobody that Kenny Omega, Omega hasn't beat? Kenny Omega hasn't beat half the guys um uh, Okada beat this year. Kenny Omega oh. hasn't really beaten a lot of people. He just became what a heavy wait what I said probably two years ago. But the only person he really wrestled was Okada. That's like major. He lost to Naito. He beat Jericho. Yeah, he did beat Jericho. Okada hasn't beat Jericho. <laughs> True. Rainbow comes. Naito in the hasn't beat Jericho. <laughs> yeah, Rainbow. <laughs> yeah, I really hopped you uh, money in the bank. Yeah. I got money That's in the bank. What? Money in the bank. Okay, okay, okay. I'm surprised. I'm surprised Vince has never did that. <laughs> or use Dave Chappelle. I should do it. 
Okay, Money in the Bank 2018. Let's get some goddamn scores. What up in the tr- Oh, yeah. And I, and I don't know my, one of my favorite teachers. Six, uh, yeah, I'm getting a 69. <laughs> or 6.9. That's an F. I have to give it a 7. It would be. See, I got to pass it. To pay see, oh, yeah. no, let, me, let me explain it real quick. See, his thing. We in Georgia. We don't give out D's in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, unfortunately... I so unfortunately for WWE, you don't get a D, you get an F. Shit. I gave it a seven as well. It gets just a seven for me. Um I really didn't watch that show from this much. I skimmed through it. Let me see here. Let me get let me get a national average. Let me see. Think about it. I should give it a six point three, eh, seven point four, whatever. I mean, shoot, it's, no. it's subject to change though. It's probably gonna end up like WrestleMania thirty two, where the score just keeps dropping. Yeah. <laughs> right now, WrestleMania thirty two is at a two point eight. So, <laughs> Funny, man, like that's a thirty two percent decrease. Funny, I'm gonna get a six point nine because I just thought sixty nine was funny for this. I didn't even think it was that bad with sure. Hey, Mm. That's the Diakis Matt uh, Diakis Matt beginning point six point <laughs> nine. You don't, if you get do worse than that, you have really fucked up. <laughs> See, I don't think it was a bad show. The problem is that it's you just won't remember long. for me. It's yes. too fucking long, so they had too much filler in it. See, it was like, it just won't remember for me, so they just gave it sixteen. The problem is, since Raw is three hours long, now the pay per view's got to go to four hours long. Oh my god. Like every pay per view four hours now. Yeah, they might need to push that oh, show shit. back to five the pre show back to five because so these pay per views in in at ten thirty. Because the, people yeah. have work in the morning. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> that's why I didn't watch it till Monday. And that's a lot I of, couldn't watch it. And that's a lot of wrestling <laughs> to consume. Cause then you turn around for Raw, then SmackDown. That's too much wrestling. Yeah, that's why I don't watch it. Then you can buy NXT, then you gotta catch the NXT. That's why I don't watch it. these that. random tournaments. I stick to the main roster, and then I don't talk about the indies. And then my brain is not wrecked. <laughs> then you have to watch wrestling. Jericho kill somebody with a fucking oh ring. Yeah, I follow the Jericho thing all day. I'm like, I can't man, I'm watching the main roster. I'd be so bored. I just call Nitro a fuckface. I have to watch Raw in like segments now. I, I have to take all week to watch a Raw. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't sit three hours and watch it, so I just go on YouTube, watch one clip, then the next day I watch it's, another clip. It's like you get one of those long ass hero sandwiches from the fucking uh, Subway, right? And you gotta eat that bitch with like a like a part at a time. It's like before I even <laughs> watch the show now, I listen to reviews, and then if they tell me something really good happened, I go watch that. Yeah. But I'm not gonna watch. No, on no way, Jose versus the Mojo Rawls. I was no, I cannot oh, yeah. do it. Believe me, do it. I fast forward to do that. And the only match I fast forward on this show, you can get it. What Jinder Mahal? And of Gabe? course, <laughs> <laughs> the only match I fast forward through. I actually watched everything. Oh, I, else. I, I, I watched the pre-show. I never watched the pre-show. Oh, I fast forward through a lot of stuff on Raw this Monday, except for the first hour. After that, after that first hour, everything dropped off hard. Okay. Who said they dropped off hard? It's annoying me that that uh, the fact that uh, the Braun Strowman. Uh, we're not going to get to the show. Okay, so I would say this before we go in. Like I was yeah. very entertained by this show, which is why I got a seven. I was sportsly entertained too. Yeah, I that's was, why I got some point. The Raw have. If I know the Raw have, I'll get a show at eight. This this was like Raw to me. <laughs> this was like a really good episode of Raw. 
Because, a raw super show. Because the results of these matches, because the results of these matches, and just based on the end result of these matches, uh, that make my score drop because of the raw side of it. You know what? I was west the point. I would say that because the results of these matches, I only really, really like one. The other one, the, like everything, I'm like, eh. I, I, I think I know which one you like. Oh yeah. And I got to feel the one he likes is the one I'm gonna hate. <laughs> well, I, I guess. Huh? I mean, I, I, I like that result too, but you know, I'd like to do other things with that. Result. You know what? All right, let's go ahead and get started with the pre-show match: um, Bludgeon Brothers versus um, GNA. They did what they're supposed to do. Okay. Ask anything. <laughs> yeah, try that. Get Get them both been working out. <laughs> yeah, they have. They even have Becky Lynch in one of their Instagram photos. Yeah, I think I, I watched that pre-show match. Yeah, they got their ass weak. I mean, whoop. We, <laughs> well, we, we, whoop. We, yeah, you're right. They, right. they didn't just have them job out. Like, the match was short, but Gallows and, Gallows and Anderson got a lot of offense, which they almost about to win until this big bull just ran over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, they got more offense than the New Day and the Usos combined. Yeah. yeah. I think they're trying to make the Bludgeon Brother human again. No. We, they can't just run over everyone. Yeah, they brought the, yeah, because since Sandy debuted, uh, so... I guess they gotta. I guess they gotta uh, drop their power level soon. Damn. They should have dropped the power level anyways. They should make them earn that. Speaking of somebody dropping their power level, and you know being left completely out the company, let's go to <laughs> Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass <laughs> or um, Large Cassidy. See, I told y'all D Bryan could bring that dude to a three star match. That's basically what it was. I told you he could wrestle. That match was sixteen minutes. It did. It, it was long. But I told you. So I'm about wrestling the, what you call it? I told place. you D-Bry could drag him to a three-star match. And I, what I liked about this match, it wasn't D-Bry taking the ass and whipping for like 16 minutes. Uh, he out-wrestled Big Cash, on the, which was supposed to happen. Big Cash could have sold his leg, his left leg once. Yeah. Like, that, God, that was an issue, too. He attacked his left leg the whole match, and Cash didn't even try to limp. Maybe that's why he got released. We told you to he might have, the damn leg. He might have been drunk at the time, so we never know. <laughs> he told his leg after he lost. <laughs> like he didn't start limping till he limped up the rail. Then he looked at D bro like you just took my career. <laughs> well, oh yeah, maybe. sixteen minutes. I thought it was like seven minutes. Well, it. maybe he shouldn't have tore up bathrooms and beat up a midget and then lose to that midget twice. And spit on people. Where he's gone now? He <laughs> kissed like half your locker over half your locker room. But yeah, and, he tapped like a bitch. And he wasted two months of Debra time. And mine. Oh, well, Debra about to get wasted. Debra about to get wasted for the next two months. This man <laughs> went two months cutting the exact same promo. He's tall, Daniel Bryan's short, and a big man could beat a good little man any day, which proven to be wrong. Well, no, he's right because he's not a good big man. So that good all. little man beat him pretty easily. Not at all. Now, the problem is, D. Brown's going to have some problems later. I was having this conversation with uh, K Mafia 229. Shout out to my dude. Uh, but Big Cat, if they if they really want to push Big Cass, they should have treated him like um, another Test. Because Test was like that ultimate tall guy, yeah. heel douchebag, narcissist motherfucker. You know? Yeah, he had the moveset, he had the charisma, he had the speed, he had all that shit. And he had an awesome fucking elbow drop, too. But they should have, you know, did, they should have gave him that, that test push. But they just, I guess, you know, um, bad booking decisions and you being a complete fucking asshole, you know. Just, and just him being trained. I mean, another yeah, thing, exactly. Another thing I think they did wrong is Enzo should have turned on him. And then he should have just beat the shit out of Enzo every week. Like, everybody, like, we already hate Enzo. So, let's just, let's just wait for Big Cat to get his hands on. Well, it depends on which side you're talking about hate Enzo. Because he was crazy on the mic. And he'd get huge re- pops up here with his um, mic skills. Exactly. That's why they did what they did. The problem is, they thought Big Cat would be worth something. Yeah, like. Big, but, but, uh, oh, here's the other thing. Big Cat's been in the hills. Much easier than him being a convincing face. He's a big dude, just beat the shit out of Enzo as a heel. Now get heel reaction. But he was a good face when he was saving Enzo all the time. 
Yeah, because he was saving Enzo. I know, that's what I'm saying. When he was just saving Enzo, he was a good face. <laughs> like, somebody pick on Enzo, he step up, big brother, talk shit to him, then he beat their ass. Of course, the problem is... That works. Of course, the problem is, if both of them want dumbasses backstage, they probably would kept working. Yeah, like, once again, I'm through talking about Big Cass. He's no longer with us. Well, he ain't dead. You mean Lars Cassidy? <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. Yeah, he tapped like a bitch in his last match. To a heel hook. No, that was the, the yes like this time. No, no that was the heel, was the heel hook. He, he oh, tapped out first time with the hook. Yes oh, yeah, okay. He tapped out via the heel hook. I just oh, yeah, I forgot. You're right, because he did work on the leg that yeah. he refused to say. I'm not sure that picture of him tapping out. Mm. Well, no, nah, I didn't do it. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. I'm just waiting for the meme. Quick, <laughs> quick, WWE. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure everybody unanimous on Bludgeon Brothers and this one. <coughs> yeah. Uh, let me see. Nah, I think I picked Big Cass. I picked Big Cass, kid, I think. All right. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Two and zero. Oh. You know this is gonna go downhill after that. <coughs> All right. Hmm. For uh, the Bludgeon Brothers, the Bludgeon Brothers were unanimous. Everybody picked yeah. the Bludgeon Brothers. Okay. Um. Um, Concept and the real X Dog pick Brian. Uh, yes. The kiss and Go Ham pick Cats. <laughs> yeah, two and oh, baby. Because <clears throat> the next pay per view was Extreme Rules. I thought they would finish this feud there. I don't Apparently, D Brown finished him a little early. <laughs> I didn't see. I didn't see anywhere in the world they were gonna get another match with D Brown. <laughs> don't don't put it past this company. <clears throat> One reason I picked uh, Big Cast to win is because of that goddamn concept that doesn't exist called 50 50 booking. <laughs> goddamn yeah. that shit to hell. D Brown broke that shit. Good. Big time. Yeah, Chopper brought I'm it ha- back, though. I'm happy to be wrong about this. So long, Big Cat. <laughs> What's next? The impact's on. Oh, wait. <laughs> you talking about. Uh, you, oh, you talking about match wise. Okay. Even oh, Imprint don't want that. <laughs> Um, Bobby Lashley versus Sami Zayn. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't sure about it, man. Sami Zayn was legit injured, so that's the one. He everything. legit got his ass whooped. <laughs> he lost after in in succession uh, three times a back break, a Canadian backbreaker, and starting sort place three three of each in succession. That's what happened. Next match. Oh yeah, there was no there was no rope from the swing on, so Matt's lost points next match. <laughs> I thought it was funny though. He fucking he did that shit three fucking times. I'm like, God damn, nigga, are you are you? Are you? Hey, I asked him to finally see him. I think I, I think I asked him when he previously real wrestling. Like, man, I want to see somebody do a verbal suplex again. That's what I wanted. I don't want to see nobody get beat with it. <laughs> hey, that's your oh, funny back in the, that's funny back in the day. That British bulldog. Um, Broke a suplex for a finisher. I ain't never seen the boy. I mean, he well, he movie. didn't just beat oh, him with no, a No, no, I'm talking about beating somebody on the game. He movie. put him oh, yeah. in a Canadian backbreaker first, then hit him with one vertical. Picked him up, put him in another Canadian backbreaker, hit him with another vertical. <laughs> that was funny. Before then, he could even tap out. <laughs> he put the nigga down. He picked him up into a third Canadian backbreaker <laughs> and held it for a bit. Then he dropped him and put him in a Stalin vertical suplex. And then he beat him. Hey, this just made me think of the... Uh, and I remember your brother had that wrestler who, who finished him with a regular suit play. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't even stuff. It was just, hey. It was just verbal suit plays number one. <laughs> hey, the way he used to sell it, man, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not putting me in a full verbal suit play. It's just, just suit play. <laughs> Get 
Yeah, but it's going to give it random moves yeah, and finish. Because we had to, or they were, we were breaking up on Derek. Yeah, no, before we did it. pick, fa- oh, even then we picked fast ones, but then after that, it was just so funny for somebody to get beat by a silly move. <laughs> somebody, everybody's going to sit and start giving their guys one. Yeah, then we had a competition. I, I hear Russell had the silly hat. <laughs> yeah, then we used to have a competition. We'd get the silliest one. <laughs> I had a damn chop block and <laughs> Bro, I was the old uh, the old N64 games, man. I fucking had a PMS slap. That's a finish. I'm like, pop, pop. I'm like, what the fuck? That, that's what was what killing me about the cruiserweight clip uh, because Jack Gallon oh, can finish him with just a draw kick in the corner. Akira Tazawa was just a stalling German. It like it wasn't a snap German. He just pick him up slowly. And do a German suplex. Yeah, beat I think it's called <laughs> Everest German. Then Bailey just had a belly to belly suplex. Yeah. Oh, like, well, that fit with her character. Oh man. Alexa Bush just got a DDT. Not even. Well, she too small to do a rampage. I do a rampage on their mind. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah, the uh, Danny Bash Mass finisher. Oh my god. Oh, that's. I'll take a nineteen. Added back to mountain punching. That was my. That was my favorite submission. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that used to be so funny when you tap that to it. <laughs> like, like, stop punching me. <laughs> <laughs> you tap out so he's just tap out so weakly. You punch him two more times. I didn't know that was a submission. I just actually did it one time to ring master. Like, this is a submission. Then I turn around, get the X dog as a finisher. Oh Lord, have mercy. <laughs> both me, cause both me and ATL Hero both had the super kick. The uh, sweet chin music, uh, the grounded one as a finisher. So I want to get rid of sweet chin music. So I gave X dog. That was a find out that move actually was a submission. Man, they got they they ring the games, dog. Uh, How the hell you hit knock somebody out on the last man standing with a fucking gurry gurry? <laughs> <laughs> You're like doom doom doom. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, somebody know Brock Lesnar's Brock Brock Lesnar knees. Uh, you know two knees that he's spinning you around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's a> <laughs> oh man. That's some silly fucking moves. Okay, um, next match is. Oh, did we all pick Bobby? Uh, let me see. So no! Me, so, Timmy, I think I picked Sami Zayn. I did not okay. know he was injured. This is actually pretty funny. Um, Diakis and Concept pick Lashley. Go ham, <laughs> you pick Lashley's sisters for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> And the rear X dog picks Sammy Zayn. Uh, <laughs> you didn't really give a pick a go hand. Yeah, I didn't really care if I said last week. And that just stuck in here. Well, hey, I'm on uh, if eight, I don't say well, didn't give I don't say me injured, I mean I'm on the, unanimous. I I'm on the eight match picking streak. Nice. That'll oh, probably end next match. Okay. Um actually no. Uh, Seth Rollins versus Elias for the Intercontinental Championship. Really good match. Yeah, very good. Yeah, the twins were beating each other ass. <laughs> Wasn't it unanimous? Yeah. This is the Nine best the Elias match i ever seen. Yep. And it ended in a goddamn roll-up. <laughs> hey, he cheated first. This is true. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is very true. What goes around comes around. Yeah, especially the next night. <laughs> yep, what goes around comes around again. <laughs> that will be an interesting feud if they go there. Agreed. So the top champion is Dolph Ziggler. But Elias was so dis- <laughs> Elias was so distraught he couldn't even insult the city he was in. Can you blame him? <laughs> yeah, you might get the Chicago typewriter. I mean, I'm still waiting for him to call Seth Rollins uh, Frog Splash to Five Star Frog Splash. That's what it is. That's what it is, exactly. <laughs> Actually, according to Dave Meltzer, it's a three and a half star Frog Splash. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, unless you're Kenny Omega, then it's seven. Oh, yeah, it's a seven star Frog Splash. <laughs> and that ain't even possible. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I guess that's enough for that match. Um, Next match is the. Women's Money in the Bank. Alexa Bliss, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, Amber Moon, Lana, Naomi, Natalia, and Sasha Banks. What were our pre- two predictions apiece? Okay. Everybody's wrong. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, know, I, know, I, was wrong. Right. I knew I was wrong. I always bet the guy. 
I don't blame you. Shut up, Daniel. Okay. Hmm. Of all the people who actually needed this W. Okay. The concept picked Natalia and Becky Lynch. The real exile picked Sasha Banks and Charlotte. Gohan picked Natalia and Alexa Bliss. And Diakis picked Becky Lynch and Lana for some weird reason. <laughs> Lana! Becky Lynch should have won. Because, but obviously Alexa Bliss needs more title reigns. Yeah. Five, apparently. I love this because not only because the guy that's won, yeah, you but I didn't see it coming. No one did. I picked her because I always backed the guys. I swore Natty was gonna win this thing because they even they they even teased it to me because when they showed Ronda Rousey like working out backstage, they they moved the camera over slightly I'm towards still, Natalia. I'm still surprised everybody was so convinced that uh, Natalia was gonna win this because it would have made sense. I, I like what they're doing much better, but not, it just would have made sense. Not once that I think the Taylor was gonna win this. I was like, uh, I'm like, oh, because they kept uh, playing up that uh, their her friendship with Ronda Rousey, and she yeah, Ronda Rousey could have beaten Nia Jax and then heel turn. I just didn't see that coming. I, just, I didn't expect that. I don't. I thought like what? I don't know. I picked really. I picked Sasha. I picked Sasha was a cop out pick. <laughs> It's just for her and Bailey. That's the reason why everybody thought it, though, because we all know that running around the training partner was Natalia. So, who would you want her to have a good, really good, strong first feud with? Who? Somebody she's been working with the entire time. Who? 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 So, everybody was like, okay, Natalia's just going to turn heel and feud with Ronda Rousey. And Ronda Rousey get that big first feud out of the way and, and win before she move on to the title. I mean, the, 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 I don't think that would be big because her getting the money in bank means she would just be going after Nia Jax if Nia Jax won her match. No. Um, everybody thought Ronda Rousey was winning and Natalia was going to cash in on man. her. Am I right? That was everybody thought. And that was what everybody said, oh, that made kind of sense. The Nobody book. wanted to see it, but everybody was like, eh, that made the most sense. I need to know. What they did was much better. Actually, what they did was much worse. Not <laughs> Well... Let's be yeah. real. Nine, let's be real. Uh, Alexa Bliss getting this whole pop because cause, cause of that ass. And because she's good on the mic. Somewhere. It's because she... Yeah. yeah. If Roman Reigns <laughs> won this and going on to his fifth title reign, they would have actually whipped out some Chicago type runs in the arena. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But once again, it's what I always said. It's book it. Alexa Bliss has always been booked right. No, she was. Well, we... Really? When was she booked wrong? She had a title reign for a while and she didn't defeat the titles in October. That don't mean she was booked wrong. She was still on TV every and week I, being that, and out of every, that out of all bitchy the, ass heel that nobody And then the other thing is, out of all the other women, <laughs> first of all, like, Roman doesn't deserve it. Sasha hasn't done anything. Matter of fact, almost all the women on the same brand with Alexa that's Bliss a, has been all pushed that's down. That's because Sasha, like, Roman Reigns is a damn choker. You know what I mean? You get the big moments, it's choke. <laughs> And then, of all the people who <laughs> should have won, <laughs> is, out of all the people who should have been got this one, is Becky Lynch. Yeah, I know. That's why I picked her. She should have won. I mean, Natalia. She's the only horse woman who ain't got nothing yet. But, well, she, she, she was the first. She was, she the was first smacked first up. Well, I mean, yeah. like, lately. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, they yeah. haven't done shit with her since Alexa Bliss beat her on SmackDown. That's See? Like, two years ago. But <laughs> I mean, shit, thing, Roman ain't keeping his competition down like this. Alexa was built to be one of the feature women, so it's just like, well, why but you, like, it's I'm just using, like hating on the rock. Here's the thing, like, I'm using. But here's the thing, I'm using the same logic folks use about Roman Reigns with Alexa. She's not even the best wrestler in the on her on and, her own brand. That's and, true, but you know, she's remotely too close. And you can't even say that on the internet because they will they will jump through hoops. Yeah, they but, in circles, bro. They were so full of jump through hoops to fit in it. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, no, they're the same person. It's just if Roman email. Reigns did this shit, it would be a straight uh, burn down of this whole arena. But I'm gonna defend it because the only problem I ever had with Roman Reigns was his character and his horrible booking. When it comes to Alexa Bliss, who's not been booked horrible and has a great character. Alexa Bliss been booked way straighter than what she should be. That's true. The only time Alexa Bliss actually got her. She deserves it. The only time. She does. If she deserves it, Roman deserves it. How she don't deserve it. How Roman deserves it. Who Who, Roman character sucks. Look who Roman be. Roman booking sucks. Roman booking does not suck. Roman booking don't suck. 
Oh, and they, nobody man. even want to watch his matches. Nobody want to watch his matches. Because matches Rome, so boring. But Roman Reigns, if Roman Reigns, if Roman Reigns, so worked, if Roman Reigns turned around, <laughs> if Roman Reigns turned around and booted the fuck out Seth Rollins and Kane Hill, Roman Reigns turns around and be the biggest face on the roster. Because he would finally be interesting. So uh, he'll, oh, he'll be interested just being here. So I was about to turn. Right now he's boring. He's on. I said. <laughs> I said, thank you. Roman Reigns is not boring. Roman Reigns just got, like I said, this whole shit on Roman Reigns is stupid as fuck and it's, hypocritical. Well, maybe it is. They, but they ain't no damn maybe. It is. Unless it just, unless it just get cheered for the same shit that Roman gets booed doing, over. She's a heel. They are two different characters. That's the other thing. They are two different characters. She's healed out. She's healed, which means she's facing IWC. Whole, first of all, how did the whole Alexa Bliss and Roman compare to even start? Because of how uh, much because she won the title. How much she got because how much she's winning the title? Yeah. Basically how much she accomplished over people who they claim are superior to her. Yeah, that too. Roman Reigns up here. It makes sense that Roman Reigns spent what the last several months or so getting his ass whooped that a top guy wouldn't have happened. But it all Unless the Bliss hadn't even got her at all. It all come down to booking though. Oh well she got it Monday. It all comes down <laughs> to booking. Alexa Bliss is great at what she does. Why is she getting the push? She's getting the push the because same way Roman got pushed. what she was. She being the all top women the same way Roman beat all top men, but Roman gets shit for it. Now, when they first, Just Roman, when they first did the brand split, who did they go with on SmackDown? Becky Lynch, because she was one of the horse women, right? Why did Alexa Bliss end up beating her and taking the title? Because she was great at her because role. They moved her from the B show to the A show because she was great at her role. When she got the raw, she took the title from Bailey. Because she's great at her role. Like I said, thanks. Like I said, once again, she got pushed over folks who are be- way better than her. And Roman Reigns. Gets, now, like now let's say this though: Are any of them a better character than Alexa Bliss? Yes. Name who? Sasha. No Sasha Banks. <laughs> Sasha <laughs> way better. Got a better character than <laughs> Alexa Bliss. Sasha's way now, better. Now they turn her heel and let her be what her character actually is and what it was in NXT. She's Miss Cass. We can, we can, go, we, whole, we can course, do a whole video uh, oh, course, about turn, Miss Cass. Of course, we Sasha turn, Banks is. Of course, we turn Sasha Banks heel. I mean, it's just even worse on Alexa Bliss. Because she would just be even that much better. Sasha Banks would be ten times better than Don't Alexa worry, Mandy Rose. Is She's already about five times better than Faith. Don't worry, Mandy Rose got a fat ass nah, on Alexa disagree. Bliss. She, she'll be next. Mandy Rose Oh my god. But you know what? If they get Mandy Rose that though, push, that would be. I would say that though. You could be right. Sasha could be like a, like better as a fake. But her booking is bad. That's what I've been saying. Yeah, it goes every... by booking. Yeah, because it killed everybody else off. No, when. The, look, think about it though. When Alexa Bliss came to Raw and she beat Bailey, who did she have a feud with? Bailey, <sighs> Sasha. And she squashed Nikki. all of them. She had to. And then once again, she had to. And once it again, was, it's her long. It's it was the, her title but here's the problem with logic. Folks up here complain about Roman Reigns beating guys who are better than him, unless it being folks who are better than her. But we can say the same thing about when Edge ran through all those people who were better than him. Edge was a better character. Edge yeah, is probably Edge and Alexa Bliss are probably playing the same role right now. The thing is, Roman Reigns was great in his character. The thing is, of course, part of the crowd doesn't like how Roman's book. But Alexa Bliss is booked the same way, and she's already she already with five time champion that quick. She is not booked the same way. They're probably both getting pushed. They are not being booked the she, same way. She getting pushed in the ways that Roman's getting pushed. What that she keeps getting that's the that, title? That's, that's the that, only that's that, the only thing. She getting pushed over everybody else. The only person that's gonna seem like they're gonna go over her on her is Ronda Rousey. That's until she get. That's until she actually does what she want to do and uh, ha- uh, get pregnant, so she will be off the show. Well, I mean, they, shit, they didn't even book Nikki Bella like this. Yeah. But basically what you say with Alexa Bliss, you want her to go back to previous Nikki teams. was pretty bad, though. She Nikki already was beat bad, Bailey and Sasha. <laughs> uh, the, thing is what, the thing is with her, just like the same folks say about Roman, at least Roman's taking L's and putting a lot of other folks over. She won that last match and didn't take that many bumps where all the other women were getting their ass tore down in that match. Yeah, because she's still injured. But she's Roman get called sleeping for the same thing. So I'm like, it's just, like, it just hypocritical as fuck. Like, okay, first of all, Murphy is not going to let none of them hit Alexa Bliss. So I'm like, I'm like, please, it don't make any sense whatsoever with how they booked that. Especially in this case, we screwed over Becky Lynch for this. The best thing about this, we still on topic. 
Because they're, yep. they're all in this match. The, the only thing, the only thing <laughs> and then I would this, agree with and is then that somebody down. else should have won over Alexa Bliss. And then I agree with that. They still ain't did that for Becky But look at the storyline they did out of this. There would be much of a storyline. Because she's rising. Run around this in a seat with the top women on Raw. Who didn't even deserve to be up here right now for this. How you can say she didn't deserve it? She just got shoved up there. Was the main one praising her when she um turned heel in NXT. Is hmm. that because she's great in her role? She she's great in her role, it. but that don't mean she got to invalidate the whole roster. Like I said, I said the same thing about Brock. I said the same thing about Roman. I said at least Roman is like Super Cena. At least Roman's taking L's with Super Cena, didn't it? All right, the same argument you're using now, you can say about AJ Styles. AJ Styles is the Did complete AJ package, Styles but he's not right in, back to the title. But he's not invalidating. Mean, but he's yeah, not invalidating the roster, though. You could say that, but AJ Styles. Yeah, I can say this with a lot of people. You actually. could say that, but AJ Styles can actually wrestle. It's not even the wrestling. <laughs> it's not even a wrestling thing with okay. me. It's the character. That's my argument. But AJ Styles not like he's not making the whole his whole roster look invalidated. These guys are having great matches. This name they say, uh, like I say, Alexa, like okay, she got all these rows. AJ Styles just holding his title. Yeah, exactly. Really can't name you a really good Alexa Bliss match. Well, maybe one. That's about it. I can name you a lot, but oh, a bad one. What did they leak or something? Oh God, damn it, <laughs> leak. Then, then we've had ten years of this. I just don't see no issue in putting the title back on Alexa so she can feud with Ronda Rousey. She's the top woman on that roster. She's the top because he burnt it down. <laughs> well, I didn't, I didn't tell them to do that long, boring feud between Bailey and Sasha. That was their idea. <laughs> no, nobody told them to keep doing all these six women to add team matches on both brands. But Absolution. Hey, and Absolution got a push. Don't forget about the welcome committee. I mean, the Riot Squad ain't did The Riot well, Squad, the squad sucks, period, on both brands. Well, except, well, they didn't do much with them. As a group, individually, I like Ruby Ruby Riot, Riot said, as as individual. I will give yeah. you that. I'm like, they could have pushed somebody else in there. Becky could have at least got the helmet. That's the thing. The yeah. I'm not even arguing with you that somebody and, else should have won what, over Alexa Bliss. I just say, I don't see it, no problem giving it to your top and person. And then what they did later, they just completely wasted this match. I'm like, y'all could have did something completely different. That's the other thing. Cause we, the other thing is, I'm not going too deep into it because this ties into later in the show. Okay, speaking of later and on the show, we, let's move on to the next match, <laughs> damn it. Yeah, I wanted to talk about some spots there, but go ahead. ahead. No, it's no, fine. No, go ahead, go ahead. Talk well, about Lana hinted at X Factor home. Well, that was pretty nice, but then Naomi, uh, well, uh, Natalia dropping Naomi to a split with that back suplex onto the ladder before she did that little running thing she does. And then there was the, the uh, springboard clothesline Naomi returned back to Natalia while Becky and Charlotte were holding the ladder playing tug of war. Uh, Ember Moon and Sasha Banks had some nice uh, I, I about spots. Say, they clearly know who the best workers in the match was because it was all Becky and Sasha, really. That's that's funny. Ember, all, the, all, all this time we wasted. I forgot Ember Moon was even in the match. Ember and Naomi went at it pretty nice, too. Yep. It's a lot of ass, though, man. All right. They did have some pretty horrible timing in the match. Some folks were out of scene. Yeah, Alexa Bliss was a little slow on the end. That's what they allowed. Oh, yeah, boy, was she? Because out. Becky should have won the damn match. Yeah, she, yeah, she had to stop <laughs> she and look around. She was like 15 minutes, 15 seconds. Like, yeah, uh, Becky had to it, stop and look around. And that's is why this was bad camera work because they should have just panned over the uh, Alexa Bliss and said they kept the camera on Becky so long. No, Alexa, I heard her. her I mean, uh, if the camera, but yeah, heard they, her they, ass up. But that's what turned it to uh, the uh, Alexa Bliss. We wouldn't even notice that Becky was up there. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't have been on screen. I'm pretty sure dumb like, okay, here's your spot. Where the hell is she at? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we can go to the next match. All right, next match is... The guy that's won. Yep, yes. he did. Yeah. What, Ron and Nia Jax? No, that's nah, that was like the semi-main Oh, you just talking about... Oh, you, okay, yeah, yeah. Next match is... um. The Adderall King, Roman Reigns versus um, Jinder Mahal. The, <coughs> the greatest Roy Jerry Curl. Did not watch. <laughs> the Roy King. Uh, I seen the spear on the heat. There was Day one point match. in the match where Jinder held a, a rest hold for two non consecutive <laughs> minutes. And I didn't watch the whole rest hold. I just skipped it and then timed it. Two non consecutive minutes he held him in the rest hold. It was, they, 
Huh? The match on, uh, overall is okay. It involves yeah, just gender okay. fighting slow. That, that's what I heard yeah. from everybody. Everybody said, this was not a bad match. It wasn't a great match, but it wasn't bad. People just already had the idea that they were going to shit on this match. And yeah. Roman... And it's that they were shitting on it because of Roman. Yeah. It was because of gender why the match sucked. Not because of Roman, but it's, you can't tell them fans that. It's the two wrestling style I wasn't going to watch. Of course, at the same time, as everybody already knows that... I don't have much of an issue with the rest of the concept, though, but... Yeah. Oh, my goodness. He fa- did three of them in the match. It's, uh, it's funny. It's <laughs> it funny the fans... It's funny the fans of Chicago <laughs> became... They basically became what they hated. They became the full sale crowd. <laughs> they always talk about the full sale crowd. When they up here just going busy for themselves, they just went full-blown for themselves. And then to the point, folks up here... They up, like, dog... During the match, they were all like, they were all like, come on. This is just, I mean, this shit is stupid as hell. During the match, I'm in the Discord. This person who's in the arena, they're up here, they're up here tweeting and typing, typing the chat, what chat, well, what chance do you want to do next? So I'm like, y'all are actually up here communicating, trying to figure out what chance to get yourselves over with. I'm like, Fucking nut beards. <laughs> and it's like, uh. And your technology and your. I'm like, uh, this is the same reason why, I like, I'm like, WWE is not gonna turn Roman face. They gotta do something to Roman, though. They're not gonna turn on face, guy, like. So, we're just gonna have to go keep going. Here's the thing, if, if they're not gonna turn, if they're not gonna do anything with Roman, I can't watch these matches no more. The thing is, like, there's no point in turning Roman face, guy, like, he gonna, well, let's see, he feud with several, like, only he gonna do is the same Roman. He already acts. He already acts in general like an asshole in ge- at times. My favorite Roman is the Roman who fought Seth Rollins at Money in the Bank when Seth came back. Come he, was, he was just talking shit to him. I'm like, this is the Roman I need to see. Come just Ro- beat his ass. Because that Roman the face. Because that Roman does what Roman does. I'm like he's like, oh, he's the face, such a face. I'm like, then Roman Reigns invite himself to Rusev's and Lana's uh, wedding and wreck the whole thing. I know. I like that Roman too. Roman Reigns beat the shit out of this man. Oh, so you finally admit that it, he wasn't supposed to be there. He invited Hey, he was being kind. <laughs> that, 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 exactly. <laughs> he didn't interrupt it, but he was being kind. He was offering a drink. No, 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 no. No, no, you just, just said like hey, he invited himself. That means he did it illegally. Oh, there was, there was yeah, no he didn't give a memo. Hey, but the thing is, if I show up to a barbecue uninvited by bringing beer, I mean, you can at least accept the beer. Roman didn't bring All I know, he, I was watching He'll offer the toes. All I know, I was watching this great video package. And it was so wonderful. We were celebrating hey. the joyous occasion. And here comes Roman Reigns. Hey, we Not know. even invited. Hey, we learned. Did hey, I we... walk out there? No. I just sat down and I watched it. Hey, here's the thing. <laughs> here's the, we already noticed about wrestling. If you put it in the ring, the ring is public space. If you do it in the ring, it's public space. If Rusev didn't expect any guests to arrive, he should have did it backstage. Well... <laughs> of course, even backstage they say Capage in the Red and Nicky Bellas are on party. But thing is, if you want to be private, do it backstage. Rusev set it up in the ring. Oh, Unfortunately, did Rusev didn't understand wrestling custom. <laughs> well, but Roman was an asshole for still for still reacting the way he did. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. But he was not under <laughs> But thing is, a lot of faith. He, he ruined her day. He <laughs> offered a drink. He offered a toast and Rusev didn't accept it. That's not the bad. Because he didn't, Roman Reigns didn't put in. Where was his money at? He ain't put no money into hey, it. But Ru- <laughs> hey, but Rusev shouldn't have did that in public space, though. That was Rusev's problem. He just probably didn't understand American customs. If you do it in public, everybody's invited. He invited the entire arena to watch the whole thing. Hey, but Rusev got one thing. Because the arena paid though. for a ticket. They, they deserve it. They put in on it. How do you think they got all that nice food? <laughs> hey, Come on. <laughs> Rusev won in the end, though. He got to go home with Lana. Well, no, Rusev won all his feuds because he looked better than all of them. Like, literally, everyone in his feuds, he's looked better than the person he's feuding with. I don't even remember that feud in so long ago, but then... Oh, Roman won, but uh, Rusev, Rusev looked like a better person. I think Roman beat him in Hell in a Fail, actually. But it, then, Ru- but then Roman... Chain. Even though it was somewhat justified, Roman Reigns m- attempted murder of Braun Strowman. Oh, no, that was not justified at all. The problem is... Oh, but thing, they get... Well, well, Roman Reigns talking about, I'm not, I said, I'm not a nice guy, I'm not a bad guy, I'm the guy. That's arrogant as fuck. The Undertaker thing, <laughs> he up here told them this is his yard now. I'm like, See, Roman Reigns has not done things that's pure face like. That's true. 
The problem is, like y'all go back to booking. They don't ever follow up. Every time Roman do something great, they don't follow it up. He killed, he almost murdered Braun Strowman. He deserved they it. They didn't even follow that up. Next match is Carmia versus, is it Asuka? Oscar. Oscar, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. oh, shit. You know what? I want to say this. WWE did do continuity. Mixed match challenge. Carmella handed Oscar that L. And Oscar forgot all about it. <laughs> it came back to hunt Oscar. The legend, so came, Oscar. the legend came back and helped out. And that that was like, I'm glad I, I said I'm glad I did not catch that spoiler or caught that lead. So when he actually when he actually took that thing when he actually took that mask off, I was actually surprised with James Ellsworth. Then that damn wink he did. It was still funny. We took the mask off. All he had on was a blank expression. That <laughs> shit looked yeah. too funny. <laughs> then he winked. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. I'm, just, mad. I'm mad he bad. Here's why that. Cause. I never like him. <laughs> what? Can he beat AJ Styles? He, I almost had to quit watching wrestling because of <laughs> That's a legend. He the big almost beat AJ. No, he, he almost did, did it. Okay. I mean, yeah, three times. Well, yeah, he didn't do it. Well, I'm talking about the time where my wrestling career was on the line. Oh, yeah, your wrestling Well, my career. wrestling watching career. Yeah. You already know how those matches go. When your career AJ on the line. AJ pulled you, it out, though. You got, when your you career usually on the line, you win those matches. Asked off. <laughs> Unless you're stone cold And then You get even more over for losing But yeah There's really not much To talk about this match Except Carmella Kept getting wedges And uh, there was Carmilla. There was some rest holes there Yeah I was thinking so, that The whole time Watching that match I was like Why Why you wear that You keep pulling up your damn <laughs> She kept pulling down Her damn um, Leotard Fingerlet Whatever you want to call it Leotard Well they made her change Because it went, the other one Look cut a lot better Chafing. No actually This one Reveal way more than the most. Maybe that's why she can't keep pulling it down. Now that I sure? think about it. Yeah, I'm positive. Them damn cheat meals. Oh, I don't know. I think about Lana. I think about Lana's. Yeah, Lana's the one. She had to change her whole wardrobe. Yeah, I told you she won't. I told you Vince wasn't gonna let her wear that first outfit for one time. But I'll stick to what I said. Carmella has more ass than Charlotte. I, I still don't see it. I just didn't see it. Like Did I you said, watch the match? Like yeah, I said, uh, it's a presentation. Wait. Like, <laughs> Well, 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 she presented well, better than Charlie. The concept go when you can see it in the ESPN body issue. I don't trust. I, I, I don't. I don't. Not, I, I, I don't yeah. trust magazine photos anymore. They're they're fake fake photos to me at this no, point because the they body air, actually because they, 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 they airbrushed the shit out of them. They even airbrushed the body. That's issue. why I was talking about the presentation because when she that came to the rain, they bust, when they she came to the rain Tuesday and that little money outfit, I seen what the concept was talking about. Like, nah, she ain't got more to show. But when she went on um, Leotard, no, no, it's, pre- it's a presentation. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with Charlotte's presentation is the fact she has the Nate ass. <laughs> <laughs> Even with leg day. God damn it. Uh, what are my favorite? Uh, um, <laughs> uh, oh, I went with, I remember before the uh, recording shut itself off, I, went, I was the only one who, who picked the correct. Uh, result. Yeah, I can't believe you picked Carmilla Pennington. Carmilla. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think we all had. Well, no, nah, I think um, Red Ed Dog actually had her winning the title, Oscar winning the title. But I had Oscar beating her clean as a whistle. Yeah, I did he, not. But I did not know about the rumor of James Ellsworth showing back up. If I would have known that, oh, I would pick Carmilla. And I think me and Deacon had the DQ finish. Yeah. Oh, that rumor didn't pop up until because after we made our picks. I, I could not see. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't see Carmilla um, beating <laughs> off the queen. That's just how that. Cool. So you said James L. were like, oh, Carmilla's been the win. But you know what? I should have thought about that because she beat Charlotte clean. <laughs> she beat her clean, but. She beat Charlotte clean. Like, yeah, sh- Charlotte tweaked her knee, but for once Carmella did nothing wrong. For once, in a while, <laughs> she, did yeah, she did that pen right though. But for once, a high risk maneuver was actually high risk. I mean, very rarely that actually pays off. Well, it paid off on Monday with the Dolph Death match when he missed that frog splash because he yeah. fell on his knee. Yeah, I know. Timber, they do that one, Timber. Like, somebody on the ground, they roll out the way. The three and a half star product. Like. But, you know, like some of the other ones, somebody go to the top room for like a drop kick, they usually always hit it. Or something like that. Unless you Ric Flair. 
I still don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> but <laughs> Double uh, axe handle. Yeah, he did. I <laughs> hate it when they actually had him do Next stop, before we go to the next match, the reason I know it's airbrushed because Serena's skin ain't never been that smooth in her entire <laughs> life. I know they airbrushed <laughs> <laughs> I know they edit those, so I, I don't pay attention to the magazine. I can't do <laughs> That's why I don't like magazine pictures anymore. They're fake. Okay, let's go to the next match. Yeah, but he can't. Yeah, but he can't put no cake on Charlotte. Everybody know that's fake. <laughs> <laughs> Some people want their cake and eat it too. <laughs> okay, next match is. AJ Styles versus Nutshot Nakamura in a <laughs> last Tusco intact match. What well, last man standing match. And uh, what were the picks in this one? Okay, let me see here. Uh, go ham with, with Styles. Everybody else went with Nakamura. Nakamura! Nakamura! <laughs> oh, well, I find my streak is over. Uh, my mini streak <laughs> is over. Uh... Well, yeah, because Nakamura should have won, but whatever, he's probably gonna beat Jeff Hardy. So, I mean, I mean Nakamura did tell him to come on. I mean, those are that's no funny. The way the match went down, I'm like, I don't even care. Nakamura, <laughs> me either. Like, yeah. this is just a great match. Yeah, I, I finally got the match I wanted for the E2. Yeah, I know it, it was better than their SmackDown match. It, it's funny, I picked AJ. I was just pulling for Nakamura, especially when he hit that first kick shot when he ran across the announce table. Yep. I'm like, yeah, this shit over. <laughs> and you know what? I hate how the referee do this shit because this whole WWE count is not getting up at the count of 10. It's getting up at the count of 15. <laughs> <laughs> because I can't, like, I watch them, I say, you know what? I'm going to do my count for myself. And I guarantee I'm going to count to 10 by at least five times, which I did. <laughs> Ain't Japan is 20? <laughs> but, yeah, that's the, but they count normal. That, that's why they have a 20 count. So they can, like, people can, like, WWE 10 count is really 20. <laughs> Hey, it's just like you jump to school doing jumping jacks. So you're doing 10 with 1, 2, 3, 4. And, one, then, two, three, and then in New one, Japan, two, three, three, I don't think you can break the count. Wait, what do you mean by break the count? You know how the person in the ring got rolled out? Oh. Go in and then roll back in. They have to start over. I don't think you can do that in New Japan. Oh, but I don't, think I, I don't think I ever seen nobody do it, though. So but, I could be wrong. Or ring bell. But Nakamura did go out like a warrior and his balls got I sent I forgot. To Were there any weapons used in this match? No. Of course not. Uh, steel chair. Oh, yeah, that one steel chair. Yeah. Thanks, WWE. That's about it. But my favorite. I mean, my, folks lost their balls in this match. My favorite. Last Tesco and Tech. What part don't you understand? <laughs> my favorite spot. No. Well, my second favorite spot in the whole match is when Nakamura went for the low blow, he missed. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> His facial expression were priceless. <laughs> He's lucky about the crack that he missed. <laughs> like, it, it hurt him so badly that he missed. <laughs> I want to guess your favorite spot was the Styles clash off the own step. No, my favorite spot is when he actually did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I watch every Nakamura match just to see that spot. Because it is so funny when he hit that low blow. But that Styles on the steps was brutal, though. But, man, when he punched his nuts, though, into his stomach, then we... <laughs> He did, did it without phenomen- hesitation, too. Then did the phenomenal forearm through the table. That was fine. Yeah, you did it with open ends. Nakamura yeah. told him to come on. He died like a warrior. He kicked the right. I mean, dog, he punched the shit out of him. <laughs> Rub, boy. He- uh. Oh, Nakamura explanation on SmackDown with you. That was perfect. Yeah, he got wrong. Yeah, great. <laughs> Nakamura got wrong. <laughs> he got too bad. And he didn't do it in Japanese. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, I like Renee Yelvin. You gonna tell me you don't speak English? He said, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Underman Page good Nakamura rematch. <laughs> me too. The ref counted too fast, and then he didn't count in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> then Jeff Hardy gets involved. What? Yeah, then he said he gonna knock, knock uh, then he, then he gonna uh, he gonna shut uh, in Jeff Hardy's eyes. Yeah, because <laughs> apparently he opened two sets of eyes. Yeah, because <laughs> Jeff Hardy underwent the character change that I see. Thank God. <laughs> well, he's well off. No, nah, well, no, Thank he God painted he not. painted his face and now he has a uh, he has a contacts in. So he and he said some ominous things. So he he went underwent the character change. So. Willow. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Is he going to be faced with that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Features of the night. 
Not women of the night. I thought I'm pretty sure Nakamura is going to win a U.S. championship. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. pretty sure what I am. They don't want to get in the WWE championship because they probably got bigger plans for AJ. Yeah, for him to lose to Samoa Joe. That's Samoa Joe. <laughs> Samoa <laughs> Joe. You, man, it's Rusev Day. Oh, yeah, you're right about that. Which, eh, yeah, I forgot about the next match when I said that. Oh, Nia Jax was running around. around. Am I too low? Who do we all pick? I pick well, no, let, let's let Deox introduce the match first, though. Okay. Uh, wait, what? Oh, um, it's the Raw Women's Championship match. It's um, Waifu versus Waifu. Ronda was... Rousey versus Nia Jax. Predictions? Uh, predictions. Let me see here. Um, Rousey, go ham, the concept, and the real X dog. Should have known better. Um, I pick um, Nia Jax. My pick was slightly. I, almost, I was almost there though until you know. A so actually, pick, I was actually, right. I made my pick with my head and not my heart because. If I'm right, go ahead and convince me yeah, so I changed it. And my heart. Oh, well, this didn't count as a L for me. It was a draw. Yeah. It wasn't a draw. Actually, Ronda kept won. Bro, Ronda won. Hold up. She did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, DQ. yeah, DQ. D- <laughs> so, oh, yeah. technically, I did have the right pick, but not the way I was expecting. Oh, yes, yeah, so you're right. It I, just... I did get it right, technically, on the technicality. Because a certain five foot one, five foot tall woman had to come and fuck, it up, fuck everything up. Naya, and this is why you don't question the guidance because I thought her strategy was stupid. Naya, <laughs> Naya, Naya, and Ronda, <laughs> Naya and Ronda actually had a good match. Oh man, it was this match had no business being that good, but I'm pretty sure I said that at WrestleMania. Man. And <laughs> that and throw she first of all, man. before we go that, first of all, the NST crowd when they showed the advertisement for that, they were booing the shit out of Ronda Rousey, and then, and then I like y'all booing Naya, but in the comments. Y'all saying, I mean, y'all booing rounds, but then in the comments, y'all blame, saying Naya's going to be reason why this match is terrible. Ugh, stupid people. Like, how you boo the person and then blame the other person for a reason why you're booing? Because they had a rough childhood and they would need something to get their angst out, I guess. Man, so they ju- choose the opposite of what they actually mean. But that judo really? throw, man, that shit was so fine yep. and it was safe. That actually didn't make any sense. <laughs> And I like how Ronda went for the armbar early in the yeah. match because yeah. that's what she did in human feet. She that was her whole fight. Like she wasn't even really straight in UFC. It was all about going for the armbar. But I was waiting. Well, for, you remember UFC? Her thing was judo. So just in that yeah. armbar, I, I was waiting for a, whatever that material was to split because she kept rolling over. I was like, dang, that's some space age material right there, dog. That shit didn't give me. I know. But I love how she does the armbar in WWE because she grabs your arm and then she basically tells you she's about to break your arm. And then she just wrenched back on it, but we never got to see that part. Yeah, and then now you hit that power bomb to get out of one of them. That was tight. It reminds me of when uh, Samoa Joe put um, Paul Heyman in the Coutinho clutch. Yeah. Like, you're you're going to feel a, a slight, what do you say, a slight uh, squeeze or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> and you put that nigga to sleep. <laughs> I mean that that match was way better than it should be. Yeah, agreed. I loved I loved the damn match though. Yeah, I really me too. Did. Until Alexa Bliss came and fucked it up. And man, did she fuck it up because <laughs> I wanted to see Ronda snap her arm. Me too. You see Ronda snap her, like. <laughs> me too. Yeah, Even though she's great. my wife. But I mean, ah, <laughs> that cash in. I'm like, that could have. I was like, Becky could have won. Should have won. Probably cashed in on. Actually, I was hoping we didn't get a cash in on the show, but I'm glad we did. I only want to see two briefcases going around. But I was like, there was. No, I just didn't see no need. I just didn't see no need at any point for the Hicks of Bliss to actually now and cat well cash in and get the title ring again, just to if Ronda actually get it. I think Ronda's gonna be there at SummerSlam. I mean, I guess, but... I don't see how you do that match. Like, here's the thing about Alexa. I love Alexa character. She still can't wrestle really good. I'd be surprised when she actually do have good matches. <laughs> but I don't see how she can have a good match with Ronda Rousey. When she's the one who's going to be on, have to be on offense most of the time. Look at the size difference. I mean... It's I, just like... Let, let me tell you this. It's, remember the problem I had at WrestleMania when she out-wrestled uh, Nia Jax? 
Mm-hmm. My problem was the size difference. <laughs> like, you can out Russell Bailey. I don't care about that. But, not Nia Jax. And you damn sure shouldn't be out wrestling uh, Ronda Rousey. I don't care if she is a Ricky. And this is this is the other reason why, like, if they're going to give it to a raw woman, since I don't want to say, I ain't want to, you know, everybody watching this already know the results of this whole event. But I'm like, this is why, like, if you're going to give it to a raw woman, i like, give it to Sasha. That's the reason why Sasha was, that was Sasha was my, one of my two picks. Because I'm like, whoever wins this is probably, I mean, like, whoever wins this is probably going to feud with Ronda Rousey when they cash in and probably beat her for the title if Ronda got it. Yeah. I, Unless whoever catched it in took it for Nia. I do like what they did better, but I still think Natty should have won. Because I know Natty and Ronda Rousey would have, just have a great match. I think Sasha's, been, Sasha's definitely been better. And then that's somebody I could definitely root for because I really don't care about Natty. As a face. Because Sasha would be talking shit. That would have been a good one. I want to hear Sasha because I remember the NXT days when she was just great. Hey, she could have turned heel if she got that. Well, she probably didn't turn heel anyway. And you know what? One thing I like about the Sasha Banks character is like, it's something I said like with Roman, when I like Roman. Sasha Banks is Eric. She still act heel. Like, her character ain't really changed that much because she's a baby face. She's and, ratchet. And, you know. She's ratchet. She ain't devious like she used to be. But she still go out there and talk shit about, oh, I'm better than you and blah, blah. That's why I, when she threw Bean Baylor ass, I didn't mind it. Well, Bailey, but see, probably Bailey hit her ass first. Yeah, like I said, I wonder if we're gonna have to forget about this fight like we did the last one, you know, and pretend it never happened. You know, like the last backstage fight they had. Oh yeah, <laughs> they are slow burning the hell at that feud. Yeah, I know, and I thought that, and I thought what they were doing with with a shame and Madden Tank Bryant was bad. Oh, Golly, let, let me say this about Ronda Rousey though. They only got a few things to fix with her, but she's gonna be amazing. Like everything they're doing with her right now, I really like. The stuff for when she comes to the ring with that big ass smile on her face, and just be like, "Oh, shut uh, you, y'all that, just stop it." Just yeah, stop. that beat down was impressive Monday, but I, 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 I don't I could, like I that. Couldn't, I couldn't watch. With the, I couldn't listen to the song after. And her pro, <laughs> and, happy, and her pro, that's what I'm saying. Like her her music, the way she comes to the ring, all smiling at. It's the same thing about Apollo Cruz. And her promos. If we can fix those three things, then we good. Hey, that's a lesson. That that smile goes away real quick. Yeah, she was on point Monday. She, point. she was way too on point. Man, she was on point. Was Monday. the main event next, or is, yep, we got another yep. match? Oh. She beat she beat the shit out of Alexa. She beat the shit out of uh, Kurt Angle. Referee. She dropped the, the, the other wrestlers were smarter to took off running because they knew better. I like when she was being Kurt Angle. And like you supposed to be my friend. You're not my friend. <laughs> Oh You're God. supposed to be my friend. When she said, I, I, I can't even, I had to watch it again because I couldn't start laughing. I'm like, oh my goodness, she really said that. <laughs> yeah, then she hit that, uh, what is a thunder fire bomb on uh, Alexa, the one shoulder power bomb? Yeah. Yeah. What should be the shit? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, did anybody tell Rhonda how cashing in works? <laughs> I don't think she, at that point, she cared. <laughs> I mean, the whole segment was great, man. Like, I th- like, I thought that Kurt Angle was just gonna stop her. Let's were gonna talk. They were gonna walk off. Blah blah. She moved Kurt to the side and started beating the shit out of Lex. Oh, oh shit! I ain't see that coming. And then Kurt pulled off. Then she started beating up. When she did that judo throw on Kurt, I was like, oh shit! I'm like, <laughs> she beat up man. Oh, right, Alexa, you for uh, Alexa? She gonna kill you. <laughs> and then the referees came out. They're like, okay, they gonna stop. And then she started beating them. All like, what does a woman stop? <laughs> then she just picked up Alexa and just <laughs> just carried her around. It was just so dirty. Like talking about bully. Why did Alexa start? Why do everybody bully Alexa? Why did she start shit with people that can kill her? <laughs> <laughs> she like she said, everything she did was legal. She did nothing wrong. Hey, what's up? Get bullied. Hey, she talked shit about Nia Jax. It may have been legal, but it'll... you know what? You know why she talked shit about Nia? Cause Nia bullied her her whole career. <laughs> she finally stood up to her. How she stood? How she stood so up to her? Faith of her bully. That's why she cashed in. After she got destroyed twice. 
Most people would just run away from their bullets. Nope, she stood up. No, no, no. She stood <laughs> she up. She cashed in. She stood up after Ronda Rousey did the work. Nah, I, I probably wouldn't attack Ronda. That was stupid. But you don't think when you're being bullied. Well, she thought she thought Nia was bad, but she's gonna die. She should go back to smack that dude with Oscar, or could that be a lot safer? I got faith. <laughs> she's, gonna, she's gonna she's gonna retain. She's gonna beat Nia. Then she's gonna beat. Rhonda, and we're going to have another long Alexa title reign, which you don't defend for a couple of months. And still be somehow a better champion than Brock Lesnar and worse at the same time. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the main event. Yeah, for another guy who didn't necessarily need a briefcase. All right. It's the men's money in the bank. I Bobby forgave Roode. him for that decision. Okay. Bobby Roode, Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, Kobe Kingston. <laughs> Rusev, Samoa Joe, the Miz and Braun Strowman. I know Braun was one of my two picks, so I got this one right too. Let's see. Let's see what my picks. I think they, they would go with the obvious. <laughs> I think nobody thought. Nah, they're gonna. They're not gonna pick Braun. He doesn't need it. I just thinking for the obvious, and why give it to somebody on Raw? <laughs> I did. Exactly. Nobody picked Braun Strowman. Nobody. Nobody. Oh wow. Well then, stupid me. Okay. The real ex dog pick, uh, Rusev, and whoever the new Dana member was. Go handpick The Miz and Kofi Kingston. Man, I'm pulling for Kofi. Yeah, me too. Again. Concept pick Samoa Joe and Big E. I pick Finn Balor and The Miz. Yeah, Samoa Joe or Big E should have won it. I was, I was, um, I was hoping when they made that comment about how Kofi bit, tied Kane Ricker and Money in the Bank, and then when um Byron said, "Oh, not Byron said," but Corey Gray said, "Oh, how many have you won?" And they were like, "None." I like maybe that's hope. So <laughs> and Kofi will finally get it. So Diak is the only the goat. So Diak is the only one who picked the raw superstar. Yeah, but from, I wasn't picking no raw superstar. And a raw superstar mm. in the morning. I know. <laughs> Smackdown got raw. They, they want no briefcases. Hey, Constable, Constable Corbin did his job. You know what? I blame Paige. <laughs> hey, she didn't pick the right people to be in the money in the bank matches, but. But she made up. But uh, she made up for the next night. Look, look at the women she chose. <laughs> Becky got screwed. Mandy Rose should have been in the match. <laughs> she would have won it. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that because she's not in it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the basis of this match was everybody teaming up on Braun and burying him under ladders. Man. <laughs> Talking about making Kevin Owens look like a genius. <laughs> Kevin Owens for weeks been saying, We need to take Braun Strowman out this match. He's been trying to recruit, try and get help. Nobody but Samoa Joe listened, I guess. I guess he listened. And the <laughs> yeah, match starts. <laughs> the match started, everybody jumped Braun Strowman because everybody was like, Oh, Kevin's right. Kevin's like, like you it is, I've been saying this. And the men's look like a genius this whole match because every time they went to jump Braun Strowman, he was climbing the ladder. See, <laughs> the men's car gets smart, man. Man, my, my favorite, my favorite spot in this match is when Braun Strowman ran down the ramp and he <laughs> ran through that ladder and dropped off Finn and about Rude. Bro, you can see men's in the ring with that look. <laughs> Bro, that <laughs> was like what the hell? <laughs> That Kevin was, was right. So but going, you forgot, wasn't that right after Braun murdered Kevin Owens? That was a yeah, trip. That was, was a trip trying, murder. They was trying to murder him. <laughs> he was trying to, about to give a, a, a bullfrog splash from a 20-foot ladder. Kevin was like, please no, please no, Braun. I told you I was going to get you. And then he tried to do it. And then he killed him. <laughs> Kevin Owens was done for the last eight, thirty, eight minutes and thirty seconds of that match. No, Kofi, Kofi had a chance. He was riding the winner's back, and then he got tossed off. Hey, I was hoping like when he knocked me, I was like, like, okay, Kofi just leap up there and get it real quick. Bro, he grabbed it <laughs> and just dropped him. Cause I had a feeling that was the end of the match. So I was like, wait a minute, they ain't gonna give it to Braun. Maybe. And I'm just like every other and last year, when Kofi come close, he lost. And last time I think Rusev was gonna end it. Rusev was gonna knock Braun off and win, but when Rusev, boy, Rusev got the accolade, double accolade, and Samoa Joe gonna fuck up the triple accolade. <laughs> <laughs> this was a horrible Rusev day. Well, well, Rusev made up for it. Two days later, Rusev day was amazing. 
But yeah, Braun Strowman didn't did not need the briefcase. What's he gonna do with it? Even then, even if Brock he, was there, he didn't need collect it. dust he like his other. He gonna wait for Brock to show. Brock gotta show up one of these days. <laughs> like <laughs> he can't just be gone forever with the belt. Forever, forever, forever. But all the time Brock gonna show up, he's just gonna be there, standing there waiting with Paul Heyman. And I have to think, Kurt Angle is one of the worst GMs of all time. <laughs> How he allowed it? Just call Brock and tell him to come to work. Yeah, what happened to his thirty day rule? Wait, ask, hold the hold title. Hold ask Stephanie. Wait, she's the one. Wait, she's wait, higher wait, up than Kurt Angle. Wait, first of all, we, we ain't blaming Stephanie for nothing. But we already established Kurt Angle's job is to run wrong. Yeah, we did. And he failed. That's why we got Constable Corbin there. To make sure Kurt can actually do his job right. And Constable Corbin answers to Stephanie. I know. Why he ain't say nothing yet? Well, no. He, he ain't got no authority. He just makes sure Kurt does his job right. <laughs> So his, was he a his, hall monitor. his whole job is yeah. to make sure Kurt does his He's job. He's top flight. <laughs> Kurt sucks at his job. We all know this. Yeah, it's true. And that's why we had Constable Corbin. The man got a haircut to be a hall monitor. That's all, and, that's and all Constable I heard. Corbin is doing a great job. Yes. Because Kurt is finally starting to look like he does something. Yeah, got his ass whooped. Even though, yes, exactly. Constable Corbin went there. He would got his ass whooped. <laughs> well, he's smart. He showed See? up after to let Kurt know he did a bad job. <laughs> hey, at least he ain't married to a coffee cup like David Otonga. <laughs> I mean, that was all I know, Constable Corbin is one of the best things we got since corporate. Oh, team. oh, I'm glad we went right back to Ronda. First of all, what the fuck is wrong with Coach? Nia Jax had Ronda in a bear hug. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. And Coach said that was a great strategy for Ronda. <laughs> and Corey Gray killed his ass. He is him and Cole, cold. they both killed They're like, how the hell are you the, talking about? Like, they're talking about she in a great position. I'm like, what? And then, when she made a little comeback, you go like, I was right. I'm like, no, you wasn't. <laughs> you're, getting ch- you're getting squeezed to death, and you're in a great position. I'm like, this was a great time for her to catch her breath. She <laughs> was <laughs> catching her breath in a bell. <laughs> You, you, you're pretty much fighting for your fucking life. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I'm going to start a petition to bring Matt Booker. Yeah. <laughs> it should have been, Matt. Like, yeah, getting, I agree. You're getting squeezed to death by a yeah. woman that's about over oh, twice your size. That, that ain't no great position to be in. Actually, I'm yeah. sorry. As, as a black man, I'm starting to think we don't need to black announce it. <laughs> Booker T's fine. We haven't had a good one yet. <laughs> Has he hired? This one hiring. We got like five. Oh, tongue is... We got, one on, coffee cup. we got one it's on true. every brand. I mean, it's every true. brand except what? for 205 Live. We Who's have, NXT? Uh, what's the name? Prince of Watson. Watson. Yeah. And that was a great hire. Uh, no, he sucks. Uh, he sucks like the rest of them. He's the other show. But I will tell you this. <laughs> he's better than the rest. Which is not saying much. That's not really <laughs> Well, Booker T is doing Booker T do a great job as a color commentator. But the T is funny. Just don't do play by play. Yeah. Have him do an off be an off color commentator. That's racist, okay, never mind. So what's uh, color commentator? Shit, fuck if I know. <laughs> but Rusev Day won the gauntlet match. I mean it's like a laundry, you gotta separate your right from your colors. Is that racist? Hey, I, I, hey, I watched SmackDown this morning. In like 17 minutes. Kind of wish I would have watched the whole show. I seen it enough though. That was a great episode of SmackDown. Rusev, they. Uh, Still don't like what they're doing with the iconic, but besides that, it's a great show. I'm not sure what they're doing now. And like, this, this is why I like SmackDown, because candy. they think outside the box. I like double eye candy. I did, like I was saying earlier, when we was at, um, when we was at Taco Bell, like, I did not see the whole Bludgeon Brothers Daniel Bryan thing coming. Nobody. <laughs> That's gonna be a great feud. Like he has to feud with a tag, an unstoppable tag team now. So he might go get a partner and they win the belts. Who's his partner? Gonna I be? don't know. This Bryan, he Randy might do it by himself. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Or maybe Sanity will save Bryan. Sanity should have been the one beating that. That's whose ass they should have been beating, not the Usos, but I understand. Actually, why. no, Sanity should have feuded with Daniel Bryan. That would have been, <laughs> that's just how you make an impact. Well, Actually, we, instead of debuting them in a random ass match against um, the Uso, they should have debuted what the Bludgeon Brothers did. Well, it gives Jumping on Daniel Bryan. 
<laughs> well, Sanity could. Well, Sandy could just say Daniel Bryan the last moment. D. Bryan his ass whooped all the way up to Extreme Rules, and Sanity, for whatever reason, jumps in. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what nah. you do with that. I don't know what you do with D. Bryan. What you calling right now? Well, at I this point, they're, they're, they're going the to thing. At this point, they're just going to establish Sanity, so they're going to beat the Usos up a few times. I mean, let's just compare Raw to SmackDown right now. As a Raw, you got some good things going forward with. I guess. But <laughs> let's see. Roman Reigns have no. Let's see. Roman Reigns have nowhere to go but Brock. Yeah, to where he gonna kick his last L from Brock. Seth Rollins, I guess, got Dolph Ziggler and maybe Drew McIntyre. That, mm. That's something interesting. I give you that. Who is the main event? Braun Strowman got a briefcase and nothing to do with it. Braun Strowman had nothing to do, but I get to with Kevin Owens. I guess so. Is he still alive? Yeah, he showed up. Like. Look like he would tape up. Bobby Lashley is, tape that together. Bobby Lashley has no dance partner, so he's teaming with Roman, mm-hmm. which means he has nowhere to go. Well, but not until they make the six man uh, match for Extreme Rules. I thought it was a fatal five way. No, it's oh yeah, you're right. It's, oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's no, what, ain't it six? Well, you, you got your five people now. Oh, I see. Hold up. Was it six or was it five? Uh, you might be right. Well, right Roman Lashley, five. Wait, but Roman yeah. Lashley, gender. Uh, well, I don't know about gender, but, but, but Roman, yeah, Roman, Roman Lashley, Balor, and Kevin Owens. You got those four. Just gotta fill that fifth spot. Is it gonna be a life? I've got I've got gender feuding with. Uh, Maybe it's Drew McIntyre. I've got gender feuding with. Uh, what's called Gable? Where's Jesse if Jordan? You call that a feud. Yeah, where is Jesse Jordan? <laughs> Catering. I know they say he's still injured, but I'm like, no, he's he's ready to go. He's been cleared. Yeah, you know, I heard he's, he's just, still injured though. He might be, but he's been cleared to wrestle. He just be at backstage at catering, waiting for them to do. I something. think that's one of the. I just thought of one of the things wrong with Raw. They won't move none of the big names from Raw to SmackDown, so Raw just seems to get stale because it's the same five people that's always in main event. Wait, uh, no, this came after the show for cover before the show. Raw will kill SmackDown because. Well, they did move a bit now. They moved some old Joe. No, I mean, like, Roman Reigns or Seth Rollins or uh, Braun Strowman to smack now. See, those three are I'm not going raw. Yeah, I know. Until that's the, the thing. Time, probably. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think Seth and Will move on to SmackDown eventually. Yeah, that, they're going to swap him and AJ. That's the thing. That's that why coming. people say stuff is getting stale on Raw. I, is because I don't the, see AJ ever moving. It's the same four big people on Raw. SmackDown had four matches that never happened. Uh, on SmackDown, this, this yeah, because they took all of them from Raw. <laughs> but Raw really got nothing back. Raw, Paige fleeced to him. But if Raw would have kept some well, of that, well, they just why said, like that because general manager Kurt. But see, if Raw would have kept, if Raw would have kept all those people and just sent like Seth and and Braun to SmackDown, that kind of evens things out. But now SmackDown, I sent Braun. I would have sent Seth. No, they did the smoke. SmackDown's they, killing Raw because they got everybody and they have fresh matchups. Like, they did the smoke. They, thing. You know what the funny thing about it? What? They're not even feuding with each other. All them top names on SmackDown. They're not yeah, even feuding with each other. I know that's the thing. We still got time for that. Yeah, yeah. SmackDown. I mean, <laughs> you got SmackDown with all mid cards. SmackDown. Oh, oh my two God. guys be added. And now they're feuding with the mid card because Rusev is typically mid card. He's fighting for the championship. Big Cass was mid card. He's fighting with Daniel Bryan. I know, he's man. Smack Jeff Hardy's <laughs> mid card. And he feuded with the feud with Nakamura. I mean, SmackDown. Nakamura technically mid card. SmackDown. Uh, you, forgot, you forgot one prediction the Raw that? Tag Team match. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. But I will. I'll go for the predictions anyway. Okay, let me see here. I'm uh, picking the B team when it happened. I think you already did that. Yeah, you picked the B team. Um, what um concept was? What are their names? What the Woken the, Warrior? The, the leader of worlds. The, there, yeah. That's the name. Okay. Um, <sighs> so much potential with those two. Diakis and Concept pick pick the leader of the worlds and. This is right. The real X Dog said, "Wait, is this on the car?" <laughs> <laughs> and the real X Dog pick was right. Yeah, he was <laughs> right. <laughs> he had the right pick. Yeah. Well, I gotta go ahead. So, potential wasted here at the same time. What were they really gonna do after them? I mean, Bray Wyatt was wasted a long time ago. I half agree with that. I'm just saying he could have been much better. I definitely agree with that. I still <laughs> think the Wyatt family should have never broke up. The exactly. Wyatt should have been a cult leader uh-huh. that would always, you know, it's just 
just could have been so much better. They I'm just, like, they was, I don't know why they kept trying to break up the wife. They, when they kept trying to break them up. When they cut, when they, when they took, made Bray simplify those damn promos and basically just, just start rambling about the same thing all over again, like, they're getting ready to mess with this man has up already. Then this place going on, they kept trying to take the Wyatt family from him. Then when he actually brought Braun Strowman as Sister Abigail's secret weapon, I'm like, oh, they finally didn't do something. They quite did what really messed Bra- um, Bray up the most. When he got that face turn, he got that what ACL, that ankle injury, and he was out for about six, eight months. The whole Wyatt family turned face. Now like, and we probably gonna get, we probably gonna get Triple H um, Bray down the road. Cause what they have, what happened in the Royal Room? Cause WWE loves doing that. Triple H up here ordering all the hills around, and then we bumped into Bray Wyatt, and Triple H look, uh, and Bray Wyatt just started laughing in his face. I like, they obviously was sending that hit, that arm um, feud up down the road. Like they, you could tell they was behind Bray Wyatt, but they always beat him because he kept, he got all the big matches. He was going to feud with Triple H and Brock Lesnar. Injuries right. prevented both of those matches from happening. And he did feud with the Undertaker. It's just that he was he was just there to take L from. But pro, think about Br- it's but just what CM Punk said. Hey, but think about Bray though. Just like Ruth says, he was basically immune to it so, unless you were actually paying to his losses. That injury just messed everything. That just killed everything while he was gone. But Rusev taking L got the people behind him. Like everybody think it's the whole Rusev day thing. People were cheering Rusev before that. They because he just that damn good. Same with Bray Wyatt. Yeah. It's just that Rusev, fortunately, fortunately, Rusev did not hit that big injury in the middle of a push. Covered Sasha and Bailey. Yeah, no. Even though it was funny when she well, was covering that water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't she also drive off a car to window down? What bitch just did snatch her out the car? No, yeah, she so, rolled the window up. Oh, okay. Yeah, and Sasha also had on her wrestling clothes, too. That was weird. But whatever. She's the boss. <laughs> she ratchet. I didn't get that at all because they had just beat each other ass. And now Bailey trying to talk to her. After right. Bailey instigated it. After Bailey got her ass whooped. <laughs> Bailey instigated, got whooped, and then she won't talk. Don't stare at me like that, Umbreon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say this before we end it because how stupid that whole thing went because Bailey basically begged Sasha to help her fake the riot squad, but then wasn't even tagging the damn match. So, why didn't you just go get somebody who was healthy? It's. <laughs> Make me wonder who. who they said what um, the red as I was saying uh, early. We can dissect this shit all day, bro. Really. Right. <laughs> that made me wonder. Mm-hmm. Like, with um, you know how the pe- uh, you know how the wrestlers can get oh the, my bad superstars fuck you WWE. You know how the superstars get tested for P or PDs or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Why can't these damn creative people get tested for the same damn? Because <laughs> I swear, if you if you give Half those motherfuckers the damn test. I bet half them motherfuckers fail. And then we probably get some better storylines. Just joking. I mean, you got, all they're gonna say about trying to slow burn Sasha and Bailey. Like y'all gotta give them one in just one segment. I give them, I give them a slow yeah. burn. Our and y'all do it two. Y'all do it two for three hour show. It's too little. But that's, <laughs> that's what I was saying about Alexa Bliss earlier. Like you got these two shooting for like damn near half a year. What is she supposed to do? Nothing. It's only been half a year. It probably longer than it feels like, but it's like a four slow, years. It's like a slower version of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. It has been more than a year because this it's a long started NXT. back in what, NXT? November. No, I'm talking about this oh. recent few now. Oh. I think it started back in November. Four years or December. Four something? years. But if you would yeah. go overall, their whole chemistry, their whole friendship, lack of friendship, it goes all the way back to NXT. Yeah, to when Bayley was just that super crazy fan. <laughs> because, like, hey, NXT, you know they they kids? Nah. <laughs> they had this little thing in NXT, like, Sasha Banks started off just like how Bayley was, oh. almost, and then Summer Rae told her to look in the mirror, and that's when the whole boss character started, when Sasha turned here. I think we cut, cut it. Then yeah. Sasha did the exact same thing with Becky, and then Becky turned heel. Yeah, and she turned. And then they did the exact ass. same thing with Bailey, but Bailey refused to turn heel. Yeah. Was it? What if Charlotte came in today? Cause Charlotte was in there somewhere. Was she? Well, Charlotte, and she just she just uh, hooked up with him. Mm-hmm. They well, they basically she was like the project the project because she was Ric Flair's daughter. Well, <laughs> ended up being better than all along. 
Hmm. Yeah, she did beat Oscar. That's true. <laughs> that, that's one thing she could think. Well, if they just keep being Oscar now, they won't even mean shit. No, at this point, at this point, the fifth ray is more better. Is better than F five. <laughs> and on that hilarious <laughs> note, we will end. We're wrestling episode seventy four. Um, peace. <laughs>